Hello and welcome everyone to tonight's episode of Twitch Slays D&D. Last week was a fun episode where we got into one hell of a combat, and this week, we're out of that combat. Hooray! Yay! Uh, also, Happy New Year everyone. We finally made it to 2022, um, and it's a year, and it's already starting out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the, the year has some spice already to it, uh, but anyways, that is, that is for drama in the Discord to happen. I have a surgery in two weeks, or, oh my god, I have a surgery in eight days. Hey! Uh, eight days. I'm gonna be a T-Rex very soon. Yay! My arm is here. I'm, just... I'm so happy for you. He's finally getting his transformative surgery to become a T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure. my way. All right, that's it. There's nothing special tonight, or tonight other than, um, it is New Year's. New there Eve. is also another thing special. Oh, that's right. I You're here them. with us. Oh. Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> you got him. You, Actually, the audience. You. You, you might hear a familiar voice. That is our friendly, friendly blue or oh! shy. You can't see them right now because we're on this scene, but that's not. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. My face oh. is done. I have the makeup. You're welcome, world. Anyways, <laughs> guys, um, we have a recap to go back over, so we will see you guys in a second, and we'll be joining you right after the recap, so see you soon. Our story begins with our four adventurers, Kalaluna, Israfel, Nova, and Blackston. They were delving through an ancient ruin, later known as Paxium, when they discover an old warforged known as Bot the Adventurer. You will be piloting Bot throughout this adventure, and uh, you get to influence their decisions throughout the campaign. The group of adventurers formed an adventuring party with the quest of discovering Bot's origin. Along the way, they stopped a cult, struck a deal with a dragon, and are trying to discover the heart of Bot's ancient city, the Elder Brain. In search of this brain, they picked up some new friends along the way, Todig, the fighting chef turtle, and Blue, the soul knife rogue, whose family is, runs an assassin's guild known as the Silent Hand. After arriving to the capital city of Aethamore, the party stopped in assassination and was offered tickets to a masquerade ball for their efforts. While there, a foreign politician was killed and their soul was stolen, most likely inside of a soul gem. The party suspects that Blue's family are the culprits, and later that, I that night, Blue disappears with a suspicious note asking the party to let her talk to her family before they do anything rash. The foreign power is giving the kingdom seven days to return the soul to them or there will be war. It is currently the seventh day and the party sits outside of Blue's childhood home awaiting. Will you be able to recover the soul gem and stop these kingdoms from going to war? We'll find out tonight. Which lays d d that was our recap which is kind of the exact same uh, as last week, but you know what? That's where we're gonna. That's where we are. Uh, hey, Shy, nice to see you. Hi. Everyone can see you now. Hi. 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 Welcome back. <laughs> what we you are... do you do to the other two? What? <laughs> Would you like where to know? Where the f is my fave tiefling? <laughs> yeah, what'd you do? <laughs> she's, oh. down for, she's down for a nap nap. All Chrissy right. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy, for joining us on this raid. <laughs> it's like Chrissy was here with us in Chrissy spirit. Here in spirit. Um, let's get right into the action, everybody. Um, to the Raiders, you just missed a little bit of a recap, but what we're going to do is ever we're going to leave off back to where we are. Um, where the scene left off was a the entire party went into a fight with the Jean family and did not win this fight. They were it was a TPK and everybody died. Um, however, Bot made a call out to their patron and in Bot's ethereal form or in Bot's death, they felt a connection with their patron where one of them whew, viscerated themselves to change something in the present. That's where we leave off in today's episode. A flash of white light. Our party making their way to the Gina Mansion estate and seeing not what they were expecting of a combat encounter to be had, but the end of a combat encounter. With the Queen's Guard standing present, um, they see their friend Blue standing next to a familiar face, Neelan, the captain of the guard. I take my um, lip, call top, ball top, and I just like try to hush it out. I'm just like, I don't need that anymore. Just gonna <laughs> try and put out the fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing going on. No, nothing's going on. Um, you put out the Molotov cocktails, just... <laughs> just put them in the bag. Yeah. What's back, going on? 
What? <laughs> you see Jean, uh, Blue's family. There is Snowden, who is tied up and unconscious, as well as her mother, who is also um, bound and con unconscious. <laughs> Neelan looks to everybody, and we resume the conversation where we had. Thank you for making it. Uh, it's nice. To, we, we were able to, with Blue's help, be able to stop this from happening, and um, we're currently in the, in the midst of, of investigating. Shit, Blue, this is all you? Yeah. We were able to receive your letter in time. Thank you for that letter. We were able to assist. I was worried it wasn't going to show up. The mail's been very slow lately. It has been. And with the evidence that you presented, he pulls out one of the crystals that you put inside of the, the mail and sent out. With this, we did an investigation. We were able to find that this has the ability to, to withhold some magical essence, and this was enough probable cause for us to investigate. Yes. However, I, I need... I think there's more in the house. Time is of the essence. I'm as proud of you, Blue. I knew you would do the right thing. Plot twist! <laughs> <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> however, um, there is a time and necessity. We need to find the crystal of Orford Barnes. We have just a few hours before we need to return it. All right, we got, we uh, got this. Please, everybody, uh, make your way. Blue, can you lead the way? Find, show us what we need. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, right down this hallway. Okay. <laughs> the party begins heading down the main hallway into the corridor of that. Blue, you lead them through the into a library, and in there you pull out a methodical book, and then opens up. Which book was it? Um, it was just a red book, unnamed. That's a very bad publisher. That's correct. It's not a good title. Making a good point. Red book, unnamed? Red book. No, that is a cool book title. <laughs> that is actually a super rad book title. <laughs> Like. You guys make your way into the dark corridor and you start beginning and guiding him through, um, just carefully guiding and dismantling traps that your friends might step on. Um, you know how these are, so you're easily finding them. Careful, that one got my last dog. The dog? Your dog pulled the bookshelf and then walked in? <laughs> it was originally Clifford. It was Clifford. The unnamed dog. The unnamed dog. Clifford the unnamed dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need everyone to start rolling investigation checks. As you make your way into a uh, a room, in, uh, not an office, but a room that does seem to have transactional things where uh, Snowden does a lot of his work. I need investigation checks as you guys begin to search I the I rolled sanctum. a 12. All right. 22. Plus 7. All right, Bob, good roll. 22. 11. Um, I rolled a detect magic. Mm. Sure. Okay. That's smart. Um, detect magic. Um, while you were down there, you start kind of going through, and not every item is magical. Some of the, um, all of the torches are inherently magical. They are torches that are ever burning. Sure. So you are going through. Um, I want an investigation check with that. Hmm. 15? That's good. Um, <laughs> let's see. And what did you roll for investigation? Bot rolled a 19. I rolled an 11. 11, 19, 22. Okay. Um, while you guys are going through there, one of the, there's a lot of magical items, so the ability to see things is difficult. I'll lead the way looking for traps. All right, bot, not bad. Go, bot. If there's any traps that are unknown, we will have you look for those. Uh, let me, give me an investigation check for that one. This one's for traps. I rolled a 10. Plus, Plus seven. seven. Pretty decent. Um, you noticed that there was one trap that, uh, was not caught by blue. And you were able to unhook it and dismantle it. Look around and you realize that would have been a poison dart that would have just shot into somebody. So. I think Nova lost her voice, so I'll speak on her behalf. Her investigation check is a 15. She was singing the whole way here, just like fully belting like the whole way. And now she's just like got like a very loose throat. Right. Like, she's on vocal rest now. <clears throat> Nova's like a performer has to take care of their voice. Nova is also looking, uh, and she <laughs> is the first one that spots crystals. She makes it into another room. Yeah. Tracks. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets into the main room where people are looking through paperwork and letters and desks, uh, and she's like, mm, not my thing. She kind of peers through another room where she comes across what looks like a crystal growing chamber. Inside here, it's a dark bioluminescent, um, and you can see that there is liquids in here, and there are crystals growing. Nova spots them and points them over to herself. 
um, and she's kind of looking through. At this point, Isterfell, you walk into the room at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I would give, I'm going to give you an Arcana check at advantage because you and Nova are both looking at them. Twenty-five. Uh, you're looking at these crystals, and as you kind of examine them, you notice that they are not the same as the ones that you've seen. They're not the same composition as Bot's chest, okay. but they do seem to ha have a similar use. You can see that some of them have no magical aura in, in nature to them, but they are vessels or vassals for energy, and you can store things with them. Um, as you're kind of looking around, you spot a safe, um, and inside the safe you can see that the safe itself is magical. Okay. Um, it, of a magical metal, so you can't see what's inside. Sure. But the metal itself is prohibiting you. <clears throat> so the crystal that we have in hand, they're not... They're, they're not inert, but they're not fully charged? They are ready to be charged. I see. There okay. are some that have been almost crystalline structures that are still growing inside this tank. Sure. While there are some that have been cleaned and processed and are ready for use. Right. Um, a small handful, maybe like a, a, a decent sack's worth. Okay. Nova's probably going to steal those. <clears throat> sure. So I'm going to show, yeah. I'm going to turn a blind eye. Okay. Um, and mm -hmm. the safe is, what are the dimensions of the safe? Uh, dimension of the safe, it's a, a small little box that is built into the wall. Blakestein, boy. What do you want? We, we need <laughs> you to take this. Take the safe? Take it. Can we not just crack the safe? Try. All right, hey, Blue, do you know how to crack a safe? Yeah, Nova I got steals. a tool kit. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Nova pockets the, the, uh, the crystals. <laughs> John is going to be playing through Bond the entire episode. <laughs> I guess. I'll take it, you yeah, know? Yeah, take it. Interaction. She has a lot. She lost her voice, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking for my tool kit. <laughs> um, you most likely have thieves' tools. Um, I would like you to roll me a um, slide a hand check. Quick, what's your mother's birthday? What was your first pet's name? Was Clifford the first pet, or was there another <laughs> first pet? I think it was like uh, Bipsy. Bipsy. So Bipsy. B B B um, Blue. Plus you don't five. know your dad's passwords. It's good enough. I don't. I'm sorry, bye. She actually does know uh, the you passwords. Do. Oh, I do. Just kidding. Because as you're thinking, oh, thinking through it, it takes you a few minutes, and in that time, Blackson, you and Israfel come to a separate room. Um, Israfel, or not Israfel, Blackson, you find it first because you scout into that room and find another separate room, kind of close to where the um, crystal grow room is, the, the chamber. Mm. Inside this room, you see workbenches, you see books, scrolls, and a whole bunch of arcane things. Except, instead of the, the bookshelves are not as tall as you're used to, they're fit for a person as if their highest reach was at like four and a half feet. And it's just, like there are shelves that are empty on the top shelf there. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, going inside, Israfel, you start to notice, look, looking around with him, there's a lot of raw ingredients here. Like, there are metals that have been smithed, there are necklaces that are unused mm -hmm. or um, have not been enchanted yet or to be enchanted. Mm -hmm. um, you find that there is a crystal that has turned to, there's crystal dust laying on there. Um, Arcana check. 23. You realize that this crystal has been once been used. Right. And it is no longer holding any. It was consumed in the use. Recently? Okay. How hot's the magic? Is the magic still warm? You know what? There's a, a lingering magic to it. Okay. So it has been used within the last week or so. Okay. Um, sure. Normal stuff. Um, <clears throat> there you also find another crystal, exactly the same as the ones that you found in the room prior, except this one has an enchantment on it. Um, you look at the enchantment, and you can tell that it is, uh, I forget the school at the moment. Uh, I'll just double check, I'll leave the school in just a second. But you're looking through it, and this, this crystal has a, a, an aura to it. It's not charged, but it throbs and feels as if it wants to be charged. That's terrifying. Did I find anything with my 19? Um, you prevented someone from stepping into a trap and being turned into the dog that got killed by the first trap. <laughs> um, you also are in the area. My 19 before the trap right. check. Right. His investigation. Uh, let's see. Um, I found this crazy thing hoping to be charged. Charged? Do you want to be charged? Um, but you find... Hey, you want to be charged, man. <laughs> Israel. 
You find a, uh, a small chest, and inside of it you look for traps, and then you open it up. Um, just like a little little box, more or less. Uh, and you open it and you find a necklace. Uh, it is a silver necklace that has a magical aura kind of emanating from it. Not not a lot, but slightly. It's just it's immaculate in condition. Except it's missing a, a spot, slot for a crystal inside of the, the necklace. And uh, you can see it's, it's magical, it just mi is missing a piece to it. That's what you find in a chest on one of the boxes. You also find other paperwork and things of that nature. Um, you find documentation. You see books, and a lot of it is in this thie the thieves' cant that you are unable to read, unless another um, rogue is able to. I put the necklace on. I put the necklace on. And you're dead. <laughs> Um, with you two, you find, with that crystal that has that pulse to it, the enchantment, um, and the dissipated crystal dust, you also find a small little circlet. It is silver, and it has, uh, it's like in a Celtic knot all the way around. It's rather gorgeous. It doesn't have, it has a slot for a crystal as well that has not been placed in there yet. Okay, I'm gonna take the necklace, you take the crystal, we never talk to each other again. <laughs> but has the necklace, you have kind of circle. We have a circle. Well, you take the circle. I'll take the circle. No, I want the circle. I want the circle. I don't want the gem. You want? You don't want I the gem? I don't want the gem. How about Bot takes the other gem no, and bot you get not, nothing? You bot get, should you not be exposed to gems. Probably not. You want to take the book and I'll take the gem and the circle? There's a book? There's a couple books. Uh, there are books in <laughs> Bot should be given all the gems. <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. You guys are doing a lot of looting from my house. We're looking for people's this, trapped there. souls? Just that was just you're focusing on a, on a, you're still trying to get <laughs> get into a safe right now. Can I do, if Devin, if this makes sense, can I do a history check on the circlet? If, if do you know sure. what I mean? Yep, yeah, roll me a. You know what I mean. If you yep. know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, roll me a history check. That's 13. You have a feeling of deja vu when looking at it. Like it's something like you've seen this circlet before. Can't really put, pinpoint your finger on it. Mm -hmm. But you feel confident in your, memory like this, this has a familiarity that you can't quite describe mm. <laughs> all right it seems blue can I have this I probably should ask you before keeping it I say as I'm wearing the necklace <laughs> you know what it just looks so dashing on you I can't say no you you really know how to rock gems thank you I know you eventually crack into the safe, Perfect. and as you open it, you see like a binder in there, um, like a leather binder essentially, and a couple, uh, another small little chest. Uh, couldn't fit more than maybe a few, like a few things into it, like a jewelry chest. Maybe like two gems? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, cool, cool. <clears throat> um, as you pull each one out, you start with the, the little book, and as you do, you unclasp it, mm -hmm. and you see... Um, pages and pages of coins oh, inside of this, this individual. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the assassin stuff. Oh, didn't make that connection. In the assassin's house? Yeah! Uh, I thought it was like press pennies. I don't know, my dad's into a lot of things. You've seen your dad hold on to this, you've seen your dad with this book before and you've seen him slot coins into there from time to time. You know, uh, he likes tobacco, coin collecting, I thought he, I thought he collected party. quarters when I was little, but this is a total game changer. We've seen these coins before. Yes, bot. <laughs> um, also, as you, you it'll kind of like open that, you're like, I know exactly what these are. That's wild. Set that over on the desk next to it. Um, you eventually open up, get the other box, and as you open it, you see that there are four crystals in here. Ooh. Um, more than I um, and each one has a magical essence emanating from it. Each has a different color, all similar in, in, in hue, but it has vibrant blues to an indigo to a pale blue to a deep ocean blue. Hmm. Uh, at this point, you see, like, Neelan is now, is like, Captain Neelan is now breaking breaking certain desks. He is not the skilled person when it comes to lock picking. He's ripping drawers off and starting to like, pull things out. You see him grabbing papers. Nova tries to snatch the crystals from blue. Nova does not see these crystals from blue. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I'm gonna close this box just in case anyone wants to snatch these from me. <laughs> you open the box and you see four magical crystals inside. Mm -hmm. And you go back and close it. Well, anybody wanna look at those uh, pennies again? Those uh -huh. coins? Well, no, we're mostly looking for the soul gems. You know, All the right. series of crystals that might be indebted. What's a penny? Ancient coin. The uh, richest geez. form of money. Has anyone found the crystals yet? And he's you see Captain Neil and is just digging through shit. He's taking boxes and dumping them out. No, just a circle <laughs> which looks awfully familiar. He's, he goes over and sees your guys' crystal and he's like this he, he goes into the room um, and he like messes with some of the things. <laughs> blue blue just takes a deep sigh and she goes. <sighs> yeah! I think I found them. Uh, please, uh, let's let's see them. Let's see them. And he comes down and he goes over. Uh, which box? She like opens it like a tiny bit. Like, do you see it? You see? She goes to you take the box. Uh, I'm gonna hold it. I'll just show it to you. How about that? <laughs> he he takes the box. <laughs> And he starts looking closely at it, and he, he pulls out, he sets it down, and he pulls out a small pocketbook, and he's now looking through some notes that he has. Um, and he's like now comparing what he has on his notes to the, the, the gem, and he looks at it, and pulls out a small like microscope, or not microscope, like a, not microscope, a uh, um, magnifying right. glass, That's thank you. Good. Like a small magnifying glass, and starts to do some inspecting. Uh, I think I think this is it. This is, I believe this is what holds Orford Barnes. We, we must be going now. Wait, th and we know that we know that there's four of them, right? Uh, yes. Then what are the other, I, we know one person who probably has, there's the Winters. He, he's like, he hands you the what magnifying person? glass and he says, you should be able to see um, what looks like a silhouette of the person. You can see that in the, well, if you look deep. Cool. I would love to look at all three, sure. the three remaining ones. Uh, you look inside each one. Uh, roll me investigation check, please. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Are you elf eyes in this party? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, you're able to make out... So, two of them have a very similar shape. They look like um, just uh, a broad-shouldered male figure. And you can kind of tell, like... But they both have short-ish hair. One has long with, like, a bun on top. And that's about all you can make out from two of them. And one of them, as you look in, you find a familiar... Um, silhouette of a very skinny half elf looking female. Alright, I think I found the Nova, Nova, if you'd like to hold on to that one, um, I believe. We're just Winter giving away my stuff? What is this? Okay, to be fair, our friend is in this one. Okay, fine, yeah, okay. Fine, <laughs> no. fine, fine. I'm gonna give that to Nova to hold on to. Okay. I'm going um, through a lot mentally right now. Nova is going to do an investigation check with the crystal. It's not bad. Jewelry and a girlfriend all in one. There you go, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to buy your dinner either. <laughs> Nova looks, it's a natural 15, so I'm just, it's gonna be good enough to identify. She doesn't have an identify on it. Um, she's gonna look. start looking at the crystal. Uh, fine, Gianna, fucking roll. No, don't let her roll, there's a delay. She already got a 15, this is fine. She's already asked. Oh, oh, you're gonna take the 15, I see how it is. Christ. Uh, <laughs> You were able to identify this is the, the silhouette of, um, of Winter. As you can see, it, it's moving inside and it has some movement abilities to it. It, it looks like they're kind of wandering in like a, in a space. Uh, you take that and you pocket the thing. At this point in time, uh, Needle looks the rest of you and um, we need to go now. Um, you have the, the connection with Faladin. You had your, your inside man, I think it was, I, I don't know who the, your friend was. That's kind of like a chocolate frog card I saw once. <laughs> no, something like that. <clears throat> um, we need to get going now. Yeah. Um, right. we, have, we have horseback, I need you. you, you have your connection, that should be able to get us inside. They're, they're almost mobilized. You can't expect them to stick around all day. We're expecting them to stick around till midnight and then that's when war is going to begin. What time is it now? Um, like 6 p.m. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. that's like a couple of hours. We can, we can, we can stop You guys hungry? Of hours. You, you want to grab something to eat on the way? Maybe like fast food, though. Yeah, well, I don't know. I kind of want to sit down, though. We've been like, it took us a long time a to long get time. here. <laughs> we haven't been able to like relax for a little bit. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You want to sass me now? Okay, cool. <laughs> Is right. now the time we're going to do it? We're going to go to the drive-thru and then we're going to We already go. saw last week. 
what I can do to you people. Oh, well, technically, what bully? No, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. I will resurrect a goddamn demon <laughs> on this spot. All right. Do it, coward. You make your way out. And uh, as you guys are exiting the main building, um, you hear a whistling sound come from Neeland. Uh, I, I didn't hear it. I just heard someone go. I can't whistle. Um, can I use speak with animal to talk to the horses we are going to ride? Sure, you can do that. Um, you guys hop on some horses as Neeland gets, uh, Captain Neeland gets a starts to get them for you, um, enough for the party, and he begins his journey through the woods. Uh, as he's going, galloping along, he's like, we have to take a separate route. Please don't do that. The mics are directly pointed directly towards those hands. <laughs> That's going to sound like shit. Um, he begins making his way outside. Nope, still bad. Still awful, Damien. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just banging two coconuts together. Thank you, Clickety-clack, 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 clickety-clack. Anyways, you guys begin making your way towards the, um, through the forest, and he's leading charge. Uh, I would like, he's gonna make a charge, uh, he's gonna make a advancing roll through it, survival, as he's trying not to get through an area. Um, you've rolled pretty good. Um, second person in the order may make a survival check as well. Um, well, you too. You wanna make, you can make it. Seventeen. Right, good enough for me. With the assistance of Blue, with your assistance on horseback, with the with the leading charge of Captain Neil, and he is beginning to you guys push through and have no missteps with your horses through these woods, and begin trekking it. It's been one hour, two hour, three hour, several hours pass. Because remember, this is not just outside of town. It's a That's three hour true. travel. So you have to make three hours back, and they are south of town. You now are beginning to head to. I've also TD the horses to sprint as fast as possible, and I would give them a special treat. You did tell them. Roll me the animal handling. Okay. Animal handling check bot. Uh, 17. Or don't. <laughs> with advantage because I'm speaking with them with a spell. Okay. That's how they heard you, bot. <laughs> That's I mean, you can persuade someone without words. I to rolled do a 19. Dang, All right, it's good enough, dude. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> it's only been 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, on your th you're on your horse, and you're like, hey, Sticks man, really hey, buddy. Slow. Hey, buddy. I'll give you a good treat if you go faster. As you say that, and kind of like pull a treat out of your bag and kind of like give a sniff to the horse, and it's like, it smells real good. It smells real good, man. I like that. What does it smell like? Vanilla. Ooh. It's a good vanilla flower you have there. You go for a taste. Sugar cubes that I grabbed from the Jean Mansion tea tray. Uh, vanilla <laughs> sugar cubes. Uh, it gives it a little look. As it takes a little lick of it, it, take, it likes it a lot. And you just, it, you pull it away real fast and say, oh my God. gotta go fast. And the horse takes off and is now faster than everyone else's horse. And just... I'm speaking as fast as I can. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bot. Uh, you're able to now take the lead with the captain as your horse is now in the front. All right, we're going. <clears throat> also, during this time, I'm going to try and like work with Ezefel and finding out who these other two souls belong to. On horseback, you would not have the ability. Absolutely not. Keep them in your pocket. Uh, you have to make you have to make full focus while you're riding gotcha. this horse because you're riding this horse at about full speed. Uh, as fast as you can through a forest. Yeah. Um, you're going through, you eventually break clear. About two and a half hours in, you can see the, the city lights, and you can see that they're not really on, but there are a few torches and banners lit throughout. Uh, the, top, the top fire is not lit at the very top of one of the towers, and you begin pushing your way and out of past the city to where the outpost of Falden remained previously. Uh, as you guys are getting closer, um, let's see here. Um, you guys, but I'll have you roll me a perception check. You're gonna be the one that sees first. Um, it is now late into the evening, but the moon is out bright enough to where you can see a group of people or a camp on the horizon. It's got it's got fires lit and torches, and it has it surrounding the entire outpost. 
That don't look good. <laughs> Alright, bot, I need a perception check from you. I rolled a five. Ooh. Five. Oof, that's not a super good roll, buddy. It's not one of them. Um, however, as you are guiding in the first thing, you hear, um, Damien, you'd hear it first. Because I got super nice. Faintly in the distance, you hear, uh, <clears throat> you know what? Let's see how far out. Advantage. I'll let you listen to advantage. You it have... is a full moon also. Mm. It is. Do I get the triple advantage for a full I'll give you quadruple advantage, <laughs> which just means you roll, roll one extra dice. dice. <laughs> Total. Uh, da, 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 um, per perception? What yeah, are the wolf ears here? 16. 16. You hear a small, faint horn off into the distance. And bot, you are going to take uh, oh. about... Nine points of piercing damage is oh as you lead the front of this charge, you hear that there's a small horn off in the distance, and bot, you take an arrow that digs deep into your chest. The arrow is incredibly long, as if it was shot from an intense longbow. Oh, okay, we're getting shot at right now. Well, I'm glad they, hit the robot. We might be going to war right now, so we might want to hurry this up. Oh. <laughs> um, you don't slow your horse as you maintain distance. We need to get this tight. Uh, Neil, and your, uh, Neil and comments. We need to get there fast before. I was they gonna say we try, have to get there now. Try to do some evasive maneuvers. Yeah, let's do some evasive maneuvers. I'm sure they didn't mean to do that. Zigzag, zigzag. If you go left and right, they can't get focused. Left All and right. right. So I will let you guys roll me. <laughs> Must have been a misfire. Can I roll zigzag? Uh, I would like a. What's a zigzag? Is a good choice. All right. Um. Animal handling checks from everybody. Everyone on horseback. Oh no. Uh-oh. Gosh, this guy's going to jail for having. Eight. Eight? Okay. Oh my god! A nat 20 plus two. I can't believe that happened. Um, you are- I rolled a five. Man. Plus four. Oh. Horses don't like to zigzag. Um, Nova <laughs> is good, and Toadig is also good, who is also oh, chilling on behind. Um, everybody who rolled under a 10 is going to take, uh, is going to take, let's just make it one roll for each. Uh, it's not too bad. Six damage each, as each of you takes, one of you will get hit in an arrow in the leg, one gets hit in an arrow in the arm, and just some grazing shots as it hurts, but it does not take you down. You're now approaching and getting closer. Nova gets a 10 total. All right, Nova, you also get hit. I rolled for you, and now you get hit. Because you sassed me, you're going to take double, so you take 10 points wow. of damage. Wow. Okay. Fight me? No, it's fine. You can take six. <clears throat> Anyways, as you guys are getting closer, each shot is getting more and more shots and volleys are coming towards you, and now you can see the archers on the line, um, and you hear, and you're now starting to hear, uh, you know, lines of fire and more shots. Someone, one of you, yeah, who do you know? As, as Neelan is now getting, trying to get closer, you're a couple hundred feet out. And at this point, you can start to make out the figures outside of their Wait. camp. We come in peace. Blue, Blue give the gems to Bot. Want to get the gem to Bot? Yes. <laughs> I thought we said not to get the gem Now. Bot. You said Bot shouldn't have gems. Now. Uh, okay. You guys are not in a place to give gems <laughs> while others receiving bar barrages of arrows. Either the goal is run straight for camp and try to communicate with them, because at this point, you're too far out to communicate. You can't. All right. Um, can I ride up next to Bot's horse? Okay, sure. And cast invisibility as a fifth level spell? Sure. On a horse of Bot and myself? And But not your horse. Unfortunately, <laughs> only three creatures. <laughs> yes, you can roll, you can get invisibility and all those Is things. Is there anyone in the line that would recognize me? Not when you're invisible! <laughs> you are about 300 feet out right now. Uh, you cannot see anybody that would might recognize you. And right now, it is dark. So although the moon is out and you can see shapes and figures, you cannot see um, faces, and it's even difficult to see your friends riding at this speed. What about a familiar sound of bagpipes? But get to Joxy. <clears throat> so as you guys are rolling up, uh, I would like everyone to make me another set of roll, please. For animal handling. Uh, animal handling check, please. Well, my horse doesn't have a rider, so it's I fine, right? I rolled a seven. Eighteen. <laughs> animal handling check still. Yeah. Eleven 18. total. Ah, eighteen. Okay, 18. that's good. It would be well, easier for you to succeed because there would be less aim. 
Um, all right, everyone who rolled <coughs> over 10 is still good. Nova, you get hit again. Another longbow. Uh, that's going to be seven points of, whoosh, as a massive arrow, whoosh, hits in and digs into your leg. It's longer than a regular. It's huge. Um, and you guys are now approaching. It's 60 feet closer. You now have about 200 feet out. Can Blue just start making a beeline for the camp? I feel like, I thought we were making a beeline. We were oh, at camp. Never yeah. mind. Everyone's currently in a okay, beeline to camp trying to get there. Um, and, do and dodging arrows along yeah, the way. Yeah, I see, I see. Um, you're now, with a horse's speed, dash movement, you have about uh, 200 feet out. Can I throw my shield to Nova to put in front of her on the horse? You are not able to do that, bot. You would have been cool, though. It would have been sick, but you are currently taking the lead. Nova is falling behind as they've taken several arrows at this point. <laughs> oh my trying god. Trying to get there. Um, as you guys are rushing, too, uh, I would like everyone to do me a favor and give me one more. As you're getting close enough. Yeah. I rolled a 10. Nat 20 again! Okay. Yo, give me that dice. No. But you're saved. Um, you d missed the arrow dodges you, arrow dodges you. What was your roll? I got a three. Three? You take another hit. Um, except this time that was under five, so you're gonna take two hits. Um, that's gonna be uh, 15 total. You wish. These you are my will. Look Between two. You wish. Okay. Um, Toad takes. Take Toad takes another shot. Hits him square in the total leg, right in the total toe. Oh, power. Directly to the toe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. And it's like right in the. I can't toe believe they are firing at us. Um, Neelan takes a couple shots as I well. I thought we were friends. They're getting ready for war. I was gonna say we were friends under circumstances that war didn't happen. <laughs> uh, Neelan so is riding horse. We don't know, they don't know who we are! Who do you know? Please stop firing! As he's yelling two on the top of his lungs to these people, he's taken, he's also taken some hits. He has a shot in his ribs and taken a shot to the chest and his, it's and his blue. arm. Bad person! <laughs> okay, not me! Are you there? Um, I'd like you to roll me a persuasion check, please. I'm just trying to help. Hi, it's me, the I family of assassins. <laughs> What's your plus one on pers uh, persuasion? I'll give you advantage because you have Neil in assisting. Plus four. Plus four. Give me another one. I rolled a one. Ooh. Well, well, plus well. four. It's still yeah. <laughs> so the eight plus four is is twelve. Unfortunately. This, with that roll, it's going to need visual sight to make the difference. Uh, everyone gets one more volley of shots. Everyone roll me an animal landing check real quick as you take some shots. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Eleven. Seven. Seven. Eleven. Uh, I rolled a ten. Um, but what's your animal handling? He'll die. I'm going to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> plus four. Bot fails. You fail. Everyone fails. Bot was invisible. As, bot, you have advantage. But you don't get shot. The front, you're invisible. Yeah, how can you shoot an invisible but horse? You don't take a hit uh, because you are you're a horse Ooh. and you are completely invisible. Um, Israfel, you have advantage. Because oh, yay. 15 is what you guys are trying to beat because now you're getting closer. I didn't. I got a 14. Ah. Uh, your horse takes a shot. No! Horse is fine. Horse, horse, has, horse has enough health. These are, these are war horses. Okay. Bad, um, bad image. Hey, we're here for not war as we ride up on well, our war horse. that they are trained, they're not armored. <laughs> they have they have like guns and turrets. No, no, this isn't this isn't oblivion war, uh, horse armor armor. No, 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 they're in regular stuff. Uh, you guys eventually pull up just outside of 100 meters. How hurt is everyone? Irrelevant. I'm good. That was my first hit. I'll, I'll vibe. I just won't go werewolf for a bit. <laughs> as you guys pull up, you have are now met with a standing army, and you guys slow down as the arrows are now in range of you as well as their own allies, and the arrows begin to cease. At the front, you see a hundred spearmen standing there, ready to Jesus. impale any uh, horse that makes its way through. And as you guys go up, you pull up and stop. They stop as well, just outside of engagement range, and. <clears throat> they ask for you. What brings you here? The war? No. No. <laughs> Neither responds. We we come in peace. We have the gem. Please, who can we talk to? Um, and you hear kind of like like looks and shouts back and forth. Um, and immediately after, uh, a line of soldiers break, and you see a large six eight individual lumbering over. He stands Goodness. tall in black and oh. <clears throat> black oh. and red armor. Stands before you. You come to bring the gem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, 
Nope, not gonna drop it yet. No. <laughs> um, let yeah, me see. Yeah, what do you want? You want the gem? We, we got gem. Yes, this is what we're here for. We, we have, have the gem of ore for Barnes. We have the gem of ore for Barnes. We can prove that uh, this whole war was just set up. Just take it and we'll be able to solve this all later. Okay. Uh, unmount, please. Uh, unmount. Oh, the horse got it. <laughs> we have been tasked with finding evidence. We can discuss peacefully. Drop invisibility. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Uh, you see, uh, when you drop invisibility, all the guards now were kind of like, they add ease for a second, and then spears back down once no! more. It's a chill! Uh, no. This is fine. Uh, he he just, he's just a little different, you with know? Us. He's cool. Who are you, then? Me or them? Who are you? Who, are Who the fuck are you before you we go to war? Okay, uh, well, don't... Who are the people that about to stop your fucking war? war? So, so that's Blackston? It, and that's, um, is, Israel? Shut up! Okay. Tension is high right now! <laughs> Dismount and disarm! We did! We did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. Hey, you're still fucking we loaded. We can't get rid of our arms! Dismounted. I dismounted, I wasn't even holding the weapon. I need you to fucking come close. Get over here. Soldiers! Mount up! So mean! They come over okay, here. Okay, you now don't get to mount and You're now surrounded mount. by a hundred <laughs> different guards. Okay, do you want to stop the war? Because this is a very war-heavy thing you're doing right Damien, now. Damien, is this, is this in character or is it out of character? This is in character. In character. Who the fuck do you think you are? Strolling up to a fucking war zone, full speed. Wait, well, what? it doesn't God! help. No cursing. Where the- oh. Where? Right now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Where is the gem? I got it. It's- I had- We need- Where is it? It's with me. Bring it here. Okay. Do you want the box or you just want the gem? We just want the gem, please. Okay, okay. give me a second. Tension's high. Blue, blue like opens the box and goes. Uh, everyone around you. Which just, one was it? Everyone around you. Roll me a perception check. Uh, the, everyone but blue. <laughs> okay. Because you're focusing on yeah. your box. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled She's in my team. She's gonna yell that. But you see around as, as <clears throat> she reaches in, um, the, you see arrows from several different vantage points, like pulling back, ready to fire, um, as in, in anticipation seeing what comes of this box. Sure. As the box opens, in the moonlight you can see, it was, when you guys were in the room, it didn't really emanate any light, but as a light, light, light a small light source hits it, pff, these four different gems emanate a powerful visual aura of speckling and glitter. As you look inside, you can see movement of a silhouette pouring through these each individual gems. Which one is it? Oh, he, he goes closer beautiful. to you. Don't touch it yet! I gotta, I gotta make sure! She, 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 she shows it to you guys. Which one is it? Which one is it? It was the, it was the one that we gave to uh, Bolin, I thought. Oh, uh, yeah, Captain Neela has it. It's not even in here! Yeah, no. Neela has it. Oh my god! I, I have it. Captain Neela, at your service. I, 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 Blue slowly closes the box and No, no, like, no, keep the keep it. No, we had two. Awkward. <laughs> we had the other two. So awkward! <laughs> you see him get down, and uh, he's got some shots in him. He took some hits. Every single one were landed. <laughs> Uh, he comes down off the horse. Oh, no. uh, you see him break the arrows off of out of. Now he doesn't pull them out of his body, but you no. see him break them <laughs> so he can move better. Because one's like mid peck. You're Ooh. so strong. Uh, the, <laughs> this is the one we believe to be Orford Barnes. He takes a kneel to the captain and hands it off to him. The captain takes the takes the stone. He looks closely to it, and as it glistens in the light, he takes like takes it to the moon. He can see f the silhouette moving inside, and you see who's the closest. Who's focusing on him? I I'd like everyone to roll me an insight. Eighteen. Eighteen. It's good. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, I rolled a seven. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Wow, that's really good for most people, except for Bot. <clears throat> as as he goes to look at it, um, in the moonlight, it glistens onto his face, and you can see shh, uh, a clear eminence of his facial facial features, and a sigh of relief. Uh, it's his face. We must go. Listen, um, I know zone of truth. If I cast it, would that make you feel more comfortable talking to all of us? 
That's not my concern right now. <laughs> Please, come inside. We'll Can let you, you heal our wounds as well from the arrows you shot at us? should have been more careful. You're, you're standing fine. Let's get inside. <laughs> Move into the With, like, five We're limited on time. I can do that. Black suit. Thanks. He takes the he takes the crystal D twenty. He heads inside. He the guards lead you into the camp, and do not ask you to disarm or anything. They just have a, a, a clear entourage around you. <clears throat> you eventually move just outside of this large stone fortress, or not fortress, but like an old fort that has been repurposed. The guards are watching you closely as you make your way through. And let's see here. Let's get you lined up so you guys can see. Boom. Um. Who needs healing? I got you. I could use the healing. I got. Shot I think we can wait five times. Let's not do any rash magic actions until this is all resolved. Kind of You're looking at Blackston with like five arrows in his chest. I've seen you cut yourself open for worse situations. I choose to do that. Continue, Jaden. You guys make your way outside of a stone fortress, or like a stone fort that is no longer, it was in use and has been now repurposed by the the Faladon Empire. Um, you see him enter inside. Um, and he, you look inside and you can see there is enough light as you, your perception checks were good enough for me. You see like torches inside and you see people moving in and he hands the crystal off. You guys are now at the front door of this um, fort. What weapon is this guard carrying, and what um, ethnicity is he? Um, he is. A... I mean, like, like, is he a knoll? Is he a no? Dwarf? No, that's a good or... question. Um, hey, I didn't want to say race because that felt weird. No, no, that's a good point. He. What species is this man? He is. Um, he looks humanoid, but okay. slightly different, or human but slightly different. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have a lot of hair. Okay. It's very short, or doesn't grow very much. Okay. And he has a very grayish skin tone. Okay. And what kind of weapon is he holding? Uh, he is wielding a great spear. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It, he wields a spear like a one-handed weapon. That's really cool. He is six eight, and massive. Dang. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> with with a shield. A <clears throat> Devin hotness check. <laughs> I subtly rub Blackston's back while casting pure wounds. Oh, thanks, buddy. Um, if you're into rippling muscles, he's an eight hot. It was just like, fuck! <laughs> D6. Oh no! You take I thought we were done with that! Nope! Uh, Got another four uh, minutes. Oh, shoot. Um, you guys slowly, the guards around, all in with spears pointed to you, slowly loosen their tension as they hear you talking inside, and you're permitted to enter. And as you kind of slowly linger into the room, um, you see on a table um, a dwarven individual. Um, I rolled a three. Oh, for my... No. For healing. Sure. Five healing, buddy. Hey. Five healing for you. The last the Lord. They're about one of the arrows. Yeah, one of the, the one of the wounds mends. There you go. Um, you push through inside and kind of look around. Perception checks from everybody in the room. I rolled a 14. 17. 17, great. 21. <laughs> 17 plus 10. Gee, wow. Works. Okay. Um, everyone's everyone's pouring about looking for the room, and you see that there is a, a table in the middle uh, that has been placed. You have inside uh, a man, an older, dwar uh, old dwarven man, who is resting in a sense that his body is no longer, his soul is no longer with him. You, des you deduce that this is the dwarf that was assassinated just about a week ago and soul taken. Not at the party. At the party. Oh, so I recognize him. Oh, you never saw him? Oh, you, oh, so can, you're right. You, well, front, you did see him. He looks dead tired. We've spoken uh, before. You actually, yeah. No, this is the same body of Wolfred yeah. Barnes. You recognize that upon coming in and you see a cleric and, or a, <clears throat> you see an armored individual standing next to it as well as a more fancier dressed folk who carries a loot with him as well. You see it on strapped to his back. Um, you stand around and you see the what looks like a paladin as they stand fully in nature with um, religious uh, imagery. They actually maintain the symbol of Zeroth, 
the god that you guys dealt with or had issues with back oh. in Faladin. So this is a Zerite standing in Paladin armor who takes the soul gem, hands it over to the bard, and they kind of look over it back and forth. And you see the bard begins kind of preparing the body. He starts placing sets of large pieces of, of diamond on each part of the table and spreading it through uh, around him as a, as a focal casting point. Um, at this point in time, the paladin goes over, um, takes out their book, opens it, and you see him <sighs> take some time, and he begins encanting. Takes about an hour passes as you guys are watching this process mm -hmm. in anticipation and anxiety. You see um, the captain, or the general of the army. You have one person comes up and says, General guys, uh, is this going to work? And he looks over to his um, soldier. I sure, as, I sure as heck hope so. Um, I think this will do it. And at the time, you go over, he goes back up to the top and he hoists and reveals some moonlight as moonlight now trickles onto Orford's body. The the light from the crystals, or the diamonds, are now going over. You see the bard is working on the, on the, on the gem mm -hmm. at the same time that the paladin is working on the body and casting a raised dead spell. Uh, you, would, you would recognize it as raised dead. Yes, I would. You <coughs> relay the information back. Ebor, flip the switch. But... <clears throat> Bot flips the switch. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Aww. You realize that it led to a door, that, a hatch that was previously placed, but there's no rope. It's there's no lightning. That's why. Makes sense. Makes sense. General uh, Gaius comes up to you. Curse away. Bot. Sweet. General Gaius comes up to your party says, how did you find this? After, this is about a half an hour into the casting process. Um, he actually takes you guys outside as the tension, you see the tension lift off of his shoulders and he's a little more calm. Mm -hmm. You go outside, just outside of the fort and ask you, where did you find this? Well, we kind of stumbled more upon it. Um, Neil and was there. Neil and Blue, you were in charge of taking down the, um, taking down Snowden and everyone who was in charge of holding that down at their estate. You look over it at his face and he seems kind of confused and kneeling and jumps in and says, um, yes, we, there was a noble family who did this and we were under the impression it was a different one and we were able to, with the assistance of this little one right here. I am the little one. Without her help, we wouldn't have had any understanding or reason to go investigate. Upon further investigation, we found that we had a, a little bit of corruption within our own nobility. With that, we were able to find what was needed to stop this war. Is Snowden with us? They really no. put the ass into assassins. Okay, you beat it out of me. It was my family. <laughs> Can I see? Can I stop her before she says family? <laughs> um, it's she gets family out, and Neelan goes to respond. It, regardless of what your family did, you were the reason as to why this isn't a problem. I know it must be hard for you right now, but you did the right thing. Okay, thank you. General Gaius goes up. And, well, that's good to know. Well, at least. At least the war has been subsided and other politicians can worry about whatever they need to worry about. So we're all good? I think so. Well, we'll, you know, fingers crossed. He kind of gestures back towards the main room, the main building where you guys were, the, ca the casting has happened. We'll know soon enough whether or not, what, if this works and no one wins from war. What was that? No one wins from war. <laughs> This is, I don't want to fight no politician's battle. My metal fingers create a grating sound as I try to cross them. <laughs> yeah, 
as I look down, you see bots counting. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Um, and my, my family was like really close with the queen, so I, I was like kind of look into that. We'll be doing our uh, Neeland chimes up. We'll be doing our investigation shortly after. They'll we'll have to discover. We'll talk with you about what should we do with your family. I we can try them as war criminals. You know, if it wasn't for and she, he looks to you, all this is you five, and if it wasn't for you, you know we wouldn't. Or six. We wouldn't know what to do. So, I think, I think you guys have to decide. We can send them off to Faladin to be tried there, or if they were tried there, they might get executed. If they try, get tried here, most certainly executed. I mean, I don't know about you, Blue, but I feel like keeping this in house would be in your best interest. Rather than just kind of so, so my options are murder my parents or murder my parents. Far away. <laughs> Far away from here. Yeah. Um. Give so, me a second, please. Maybe not the best time to pick this up, but assassins are usually hired by someone to do jobs. I don't think the genes are the uh. only problems. Box spitting facts. Neilan responds. I think you're right. I think. I mean, well, you're definitely right. There's definitely some corruption here. <laughs> we're we're working on it. We will find whoever's responsible and work on that corruption from the start. Now that we see it, we'll make it our, our number one goal. All right, can I talk to the Fallon individual and ask him, so this all works, this is all good. Yes. How long do you all plan to stay here? After? Fucking immediately. Look down to see if I was cussing. Fucking immediately. <laughs> all right. You think um, we want to be I here? Just, I just want to be careful because... You know, again, Bot was right that these assassins were hired. They're a hired business. There is nothing that rules out anyone from Faladin being the cause of it. So I would just be careful on wanting to get back home as fast as possible. Then we'll, you may not get the answers. We then. will not be heading home as I want to be heading home. And my men don't want to be here either. We're just doing what's asked of us. We weren't... This was meant to be just a simple escort mission. Turned something worse. Yeah. We'll most likely be stationed at the at the port just west of here, where we were stationed before. Most likely escorting our <clears throat> politicians from place to place until tensions are revealed. At least there's going If I were to guess, there's going to be some peace order offering, some treaty, something to discuss what happened. <sighs> Fortunately... Oh, it was unfortunate that Orphan was the one that was killed, but because he was the level-headed one of the bunch. With him... Oh, God, hopefully he's back. We need him soon. He should de-escalate some of this, but... God damn. Okay, so I think I'd rather have them here, because if there was an execution, like, should I... I, I should probably go, right? I should probably go? Or is that... Is that we... I mean, I don't know. It's not... It's this not, is new! <laughs> okay, this is very new! It's not if, exactly like a funeral, it's, you know... With, with Orford coming back, we, Faladin, our, our court system is not so... What's the word for it? Is it proper manners to go to your parents' execution? <laughs> what do you just send a card, you know? <laughs> do you just... I have no idea. <laughs> but what I can assure you is that Faladin tends to have a more lenient death penalty, or, like, sentencing. <laughs> This kingdom is so brutal with their laws. The poor are just punished for being poor, it seems. It's, couldn't imagine wanting to live here. Yeah. We were trying to we were trying to be the ones that extended a peace offering to them in some form of communication, but unfortunately I think this set us back about ten more years. Regardless, I don't know. I'm not sure what one does with their own families at the execution. I mean... Oop, that's rough. It's rough, but... If they do come back to life, theoretically, you may only be able to charge them for attempted murder. That's not how that works. I mean, if, <laughs> that's you, try, not how that works. if you try to charge someone no, for a murder no. and the victim walks in, you can't no, really... No. You can't have a strong case. <laughs> to be fair. But, um... Yeah, the... I guess it's a little bit of a pros and cons list you have to make if you would rather have them sent 
to Fallon and Worthy might have a better shot, or keep them close and probably work a little bit harder. We'll see, we'll see if our politicians want to get their hands dirty, but... This is gonna sound awful. Does anybody have a coin? Don't, I have a coin! <laughs> 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 You just chucked the gold at A hundred percent. Damien, you absolutely nailed it. You nailed the voice completely. I wish, I wish he was here in spirit with us. Uh, I wish he was here to see that. Someone marked that Todig has one less gold. He has one less gold. Todig gets one less gold. Alright, Todig marked for you. Um, now you got a coin. One. I got you, please. Gold. All right. He had, he throws a gold at you. <laughs> Dead in the forehead. Please, a little mark. <laughs> it gets it just right to where it even gets a little ting coming off of it. It really gets you. <laughs> All right, so. Do, do you have My a parents' death, right. Like, we, should, we should get back to that. Yeah, we should get back. Okay, so. And uh, as, as you guys go back to this conversation, you start to see... You look back to where the room is that you've... It's kind of about 20 feet away from you. You guys moved away from the main entrance. And you see a light pouring out of it as this bright daylight-like eminence is pushing out of the front entrance. Every crack, every hole that this fort once had is now pouring light out of it as it just... That from the top, where they opened up so the moonlight would come out, is now exposing just... A amount, immense amount of light. Mm. Um, you, everyone just, oh, you have to pull away for a second to see. My eyes! Mine! Everyone's eyes are now like burnt with the image if you stared a little too long. And Absolutely did. <laughs> <clears throat> you don't blink, you just... Eventually, a little dwarf. I shrink like, back in fear. Hello? You see a dwarven stature. He wears the colors of, of Faladin. He has his magistrate's outfit on. He has a yellow-ish hue to him. And he steps out and you see him kind of staggering. You see him rubbing his eyes. Uh, and you look back over to the general who's staring in. You just see the biggest sigh on any individual person you have ever seen as the, like you see a weight lifted off of his shoulders. As that weight is removed, um, you hear like one of the guards who was kind of keeping post next to the next to the room. One looks over and the other one. You start to hear cheering as each guard just cheers and you hear drums beginning to play as the entire camp, hundreds and hundreds of soldiers um, starting from the middle where they were at, were, were shouting and cheering, and now you hear just nothing but, Woo! And the entire camp bursts into excitement Whoa. as. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Roll me a performance. Fitting in. Um, as Orford uh, kind of like staggers out. What did I, what 70, did I miss? 70 performance. 70, you oh. fit, fit in. The, guard, the other guards, the other like soldiers are kind of like looking at you and cheering back. Yeah. More arrows coming out. <laughs> Shield. Woo! The entire, <laughs> the entire camp begins to cheer in excitement. As this goes on, Orford, I'm like, what did I, what did I miss? What's going on? And they, oh, he's kind of southern draw. <laughs> His southern skeleton draw. didn't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> My skeletons can sound however they like, because it's not the same. You took a little nap, nap, sir. Um, you okay. see, um, the general, general uh, guys goes over and says, "A woo woo." <laughs> <laughs> um, woo woo. Um, <clears throat> you've missed, yeah. general, general guys. You've missed quite a bit. Um, let, let me fill you in. And he takes, um. He starts guiding him into a different, more luxurious purple tent that seems to be the symbolism of, or seems to be the home or place of General Gaius. And they head off into a different tent. And Captain Nealon looks over you and kind of says, "Well, I think, I think we, I think we stopped the war. I think that's it." I think we stopped the war. Oh, that's what it is. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, he actually, by the way, as this incredible, as this weight is lifted off his shoulders, he looks over to the side and just pukes a little bit. It's a uh, just, just get it, out, just get it. Out. Oh, I've been better now. I've been. Have the paladin and bard exited the tent? Uh, no, they're still inside the fort. Gotcha. So, uh, do you want to look at them? I want to go yeah. in there. You <laughs> peer inside. You see the the bard is like slunched over with the loot in his hand, just kind of like, kind like you can see like he's resting as if he was playing for the past hour straight without a single stop. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he and um, the paladin is like hunched over the table where Orford was, <laughs> just kind of like. Uh, like not PTSDing a little bit, but like right. you see the tension has been relieved off of his shoulders because there was a big white there too, <laughs> <sighs> and they don't even acknowledge you entering the building. That's okay. But they're sitting there. Um, Neilan's looking around, and I, I think we need to wait for him to come back um, just to communicate what's yeah. going on. And I mean, I would like to ask for their services in resurrecting our friend who also got soul snatched and. Put in that gem. There's a possibility. I, I mean, I don't. I mean, we did stop wars. <laughs> this is true, but they, you understand they would have crushed us, right? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <Bye, laughs> <laughs> no chance. This war would have been a sheer annihilation of our kingdom. But we could have acted like you know we could we we, we can act like we had something brewing, well, like a maybe. deep stew. <laughs> Guys, we actually did it, and I play a victory song on my bagpipes. And <laughs> Mr. Fell, as, as you kind of go in and examine the room where it is, you can see it. There's um, diamond dust, not enough to like obtain for any spells, but you can see where it has been dissipated all over the floor, um, and where his body was, as if as if he had just a glitter body line around him, and you can see where his body was and where the glitter like around his silhouette, um, on top of the bard. Uh, in the bard's hand, you can see that there's like dust of a different type, more mm -hmm. of a crystalline nature, similar to the one that you found in there, in your um, in the study. Can I um? I roll a performance check. All right, bud. Let's play some backups. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Ooh, ah, your performance is good. You, be, you just need a ten to play some good backpipes. You get to plus something to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, some war pipes, yeah. you know. Um, what were you saying? Um, I'd like to gently kind of dust some of the diamond dust into my two bags of holding. Sure. Yeah, you kind of scoot some in. Yeah. Just enough to bedazzle everything. Gets a little bit of the lid. The doodle. Can't even yeah. get it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but if you probably have a plus two to your performance. If so, it goes over well enough. Yeah. Plus four. Ooh. At 12 performance, you begin playing your bagpipes, and you find a spot that you can, you know, get away from everybody's people bumped into you at first and made a boo, like an awful hideous sound from the bagpipe but then you get out into the side where you can play without getting disturbed and people are now dancing and cheering um uh, a little a drummer comes over uh who has wields his war drums kind of looks over to you and said let's do this and he just starts playing the drums in unison with your bagpipes and at this point in time everybody is going to level up to level 10. wow hey! stop a war Get a level. Level up, baby. So everyone's now level 10 in the party. So we are going to go to break right now. Oh, We're not going to do any levels up right now. Bot's going to be doing their level up over the course of say, the... We've got a boat. Between we've got... this week and next week. Um, but this has seemed like the best place to give a level up. Yeah, I agree. And so that's where everyone's going to level up. Just think about what you want. Discuss how you want. We'll be in the Discord for it. We're just going to go on break right now. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes if you guys okay. want to catch us then. So we'll see you very soon. 825. 825, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Plays D&D, &D, where Blue is deciding whether or not they should ex end the life of <laughs> their parents or not. Can we not say the K word? Uh, we could say kill, but end the life is di killing is different than executing. Okay, sure. I mean, I, slightly. It doesn't matter. But anyways, here we are. We are currently outside in the festivities, and as the soldiers are setting down their weapons and are now cheering in excitement, you have the war, the war drums that are playing a jovial tune, with bots bagpipes making everything much more enjoyable for this wonderful evening. A bit of time passes. 
and you see um, a very kind of out of it Orford come back out of the tent with um, General Gaius. Uh, and you see, uh, no one needs to roll a perception for this, but what you do is you see Orford kind of looking around, kind of overwhelmed by the amount of like cheering and movement going on, and you see um, General Gaius like, tap him on the shoulder and then point directly at your guys' group. Uh, and he begins walking over. Um, he heads over to your guys' where you guys are stationed. And he says, "Well, um, thank you so much for uh, making sure that I made it out of here alive. Uh, I'm a little confused right now. Things are really foggy and really, really weird. But you know, it's uh, best to just kind of get little piece. If you try and get it all at once, it's not going to stick. So just get it the pieces like that you can." Dead? Well, I guess what it was like was, uh, that's a really odd question, but you know what it was, is, um, so, like, I was, I was walking, I just, I was speaking with that, uh, that one fancy, what, that, that lady's name, that lady's, oh, what was that lady's name? Did you see anything on the other side? Well, that's kind of the thing, you know, for, like, a second there, I, uh, I, I felt, like, a massive headache for just a moment, and then I, like, do we do, fell down, and it hurt for a moment, and then uh, all of a sudden, like, I was... I was in a place where I could see just nothing but gold as far as the eye could see, and I saw this giant, giant dragon. Silver dragon, it was amazing. And then immediately after, like by the time that I saw this, this place and you know, this magnificent land, I, uh, roll me a, uh, <laughs> roll me a religion check. We're like, okay, oh, yeah. I'm religion. sorry, what? Uh, 16? Uh, it is what I rolled religions? a 13. Okay. Uh, it is a religion based around like, justice, and it, I forget the. I, I'm really looking at the name of the dragon. Eo, Io, Aragon. Nope. No, is it? The, it's the dragon. It's like the silver the creationist dra dragon. Uh, Five. Let me double check. I'll have to read it up. There, look up dragons real quick. There are I gods. Mean, it, there's one. Eo's where higher than Tiamat. It's like the dragon lord. Uh, there's a god dragon that is like a silver <laughs> god. That's where its thing is. Uh, it's a silver god dragon. I'll, I'll look it up. I, it's in my notes, and I don't want to look for it right now. <laughs> Bahamut? I think so. Yeah? That sounds Lendies. familiar. Uh, what is Baha Bahamut? It's a, it should be a silver dragon, right? It is a silver dragon That's god of one. justice and subservient deity to Torn, god of law. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. And he is the leader of the magistrate. This is his god. Um, I was there for just a second. And platinum. I'll... So, damn it. Yeah, I sh yes, platinum dragon. You're right. Um... And oh, I had these magnificent blue eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, and then it felt like I was lost in space. You know, I was. Uh, it was everything around me was white, and it was just this white oasis. I think you are thinking of a white dragoon. That yeah, could be the one. Yeah, but um, interesting. For a moment, I saw like this place of bliss, and after that, I felt anxious and uncomfortable, and around me was just nothing but white, and it was, it was horrible. I mean, I mean, it wasn't the most horrible thing in the world, but like it was uh, not great, and I just felt like I was wandering into eternity and nothing. Uh, until all of a sudden, I found myself feeling like dog, dog shit on like a on a, <laughs> on a table in the middle of the ruins. I mean, I got a little bit of wow, I have a killer headache right now, but that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I think if thanks to you, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here today. I'd be stuck in that little crystal. I think it was right. Yeah, it was a little um, more like a gem. Almost. God, that was gem. awful. I hope no one goes through that experience in their life. Well, at least three other people are experiencing it. There's three other gems in there. Hot damn! We gotta get these people out of that. That's what I'm saying. We well, gotta get them out. We, keep one. we know one of them. Just we don't. Kidding. <laughs> We don't know who the other two are, or yeah, at winter, least... winter, summer, and fall, right? Uh, well, you know, that's not really my specialty. Uh, I think you can talk to... We have some people for that. They, they know about the resurrective process and stuff of that nature, so, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, I, I, cool. need to, I need to take a nap. Is there anything, uh, anything you guys need from me, or... I, just, uh, Stop know. the war! Right, right. that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. war work. Just all. the small one. This is a very small one. Uh, I'm gonna get my cleric and uh, I'm gonna send a, get a message sent off. Don't stop the peace movement. That's what we're talking about. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go get a. He, he kinda like. He, he like goes to tap on um, General Guy's shoulder and just whiffs it. <laughs> oh man, wow. Uh, can you get the. Can you get my cleric? I'm gonna go get them, send a message off so I can 
some communication taken care, uh, taken care of. Yeah, people really want to hear from oh, you. Oh, can we have yeah. some reward money? Um, let me, you know, I was... Wow. Well, uh, we should probably take getting our friend resurrected, which will probably cost a lot of money, versus... We'll, we'll discuss something <laughs> for stopping this, this whatever is going on. I, I don't know. I've been kind of out of it for like a week, as you guys might have noticed. So, um, uh... I, I don't want to take up any more of your time, but, um... Oh, it's a reasons! Uh, yeah, I just realized this coin has the same side on both sides. Uh, <laughs> pretty <laughs> shitty economy. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, odds are evens. Uh, it's gonna be even, whatever. Uh, rolled. Okay. Well, uh, the, a, a cleric comes over and kind of like different fellow than the paladin. Yes, different one. Um, one that little, little lesser in, in stature. Kind of like gives a little pat down. Well, you know, like what do you need is what he asks, and uh, you hear him kind of go off and like. Uh, can you let them know that uh, I guess I'm not dead? You know, I, I, you know, I didn't think I'd ever to say that to someone before, but like, can you just let? Um, and he says, "Which name is it?" Um, hold, please stand. Please, please stand. Please hold. Please stand. Over. Please no. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, that's the one. Uh, Would you consider us friends? Like, if we ever find ourselves in Philadelphia, will we have a warm welcome? Well, I suppose that you've got some, I mean, yeah, I, I, would, have, I would suppose people are a big fan of you, not to go into the whole war thing, so, uh, uh, Posey, Posey Thorne is who he is asked to send a message to. Um, is that a familiar name? No. Okay. That's you guys. What? Posey. Yeah. It's a name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Is it, though? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What what kind of flower is it? <laughs> we know a thorn. Uh, beats me, man. Pretty fun. We know a thorn. We know a briar. We know a Rosie. Rosie yeah, Posey. Sorry, sorry. So thorn's name, when spelt out, is T H O R N E. Okay. Mm. Yeah. This is actually just thorn. There's no e at the end. I see. Does Rosie know Posey? I mean, I suppose she might know Rosie, but the Posey is Rosie. Um. Anyways, just send the. She sends send, <laughs> asked to send a message to to Posey and. If a cleric like goes off and oh, uh, she got it. She said, "That's amazing, and that everyone is at ease." Moses supposes he knows all roses. Uh, you guys are real. <laughs> you guys are a real weird lot. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, if you guys need anything, I think tensions are a little, little awful right now. But uh, I think things will be better in the morning. Uh, he looks over to Captain Neil and he's like, "You're, um, you're with, uh, you're with that." You're you're with uh, Theria, so you gonna let them know about what this? Uh, let me let me get a letter off. So he goes and he does a letter. He starts writing something off and he signs it. And he, this is what you need to deliver to your queen. This should be able to, to sum things up, right? I mean, coming from your hands, that should be right. He's, yes, um, that would be more than enough. Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna go. Let everyone know right now. They're gonna be happy about this. He goes and takes the letter and just shoves it off to the side. Yeah. And. Uh... Uh, talk to Neil in as well. Um, so before the family gets sent off, are we gonna have a chance to speak with them? You know, for you know, um, Blue to say last words possibly before. before. He goes. Um, at this point, uh, Orford looks to everybody. All right, good night, everyone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep this off. Uh, he heads off into. Uh, Don't die. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, anyways. He goes off, and Neilan looks over to you. Um, I suppose we can arrange. What would, What would you like? I can. We can probably make some arrangements. I was gonna say just a short time for us to, you know, well, for Blue to say goodbye or just say anything that Blue needs to. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think that I think that can be just, uh, taken care of. They'll most likely be in the, um, you know, jail at the bottom underneath the, underneath the, the Crystal Palace where you guys were, the Aether Palace. Sorry. Just. Crystal right. Palace sounds rad. Sorry. <laughs> crystal Palace would sound rad. It's not quite the Crystal Palace. Um, the Aether Palace. It Aether most Palace. likely going to be taken there where the Queen resides to make sure that everything. Well, not where she resides, but her place, mm -hmm. where the throne is at. That right, nature. If we could have Council with Snowden, that would be great for you. I will make sure that, that is taken care of to where you get a chance to speak with him before. Yeah, Whatever happens. Eludes us. Yes. Um, well, I let him. I let him pick odds or evens, and uh, looks 
like one's going to a funeral. All right. Um, <laughs> we'll let you. We'll we'll think about it. We'll have to speak with our council, and we'll see if that's the order, the nature things want to go. Yeah. You could also just decide for yourself. I let the fates decide. Also, I don't think the witnesses really get to decide how the criminals punish. Yeah. A little more than the witness. Hi, what do you know about this court system? What are they? What the is the rat doesn't get to decide what happens. To I this am is not true. a rat. Okay. I am a but halfling. The, but the court system here is not good. I was gonna say, <laughs> what was the court system like in Pottsfield? You have a goat go around the victim if it sits down there, like puts execution. Is uh, that what it's like in Pottsfield? Is there anything else? We should we should let the king, queen know that war is not on the horizon. Um, let's head back now. Do you have any other business here? I still don't trust no. the queen. No. No. That's fine, let's, but... Let's get, put this war to rest. Let's put this war to rest. You guys exit off onto your thing. At this point, uh, the medics have now come to you and have not necessarily mended all of your wounds, but have helped get the arrows out of your body and then have patched them up. Not, ma not magically, mm -hmm. just you guys aren't bleeding out and you're in a healthy condition. Okay. Physically. Hurts, but physically. physically. Yeah, physically. We're all yeah. right. Physically, you're just fine. Uh, you guys make your be way back into Aethelmore. You guys riding, it takes about uh, a little under an hour to get back into town. After the three hour ride in? Uh, th Let's do a little mappy map here. Yeah, map. We're also not rushing. No, no, it's just, it's not fast. This is. No, but you're not rushing. Rushing. It's like half an hour out. You guys took 45 minutes not to slow down. Ethelmore. No, we aren't Russian. I'm Geth. Hey, all of you. Blues House. Blues House. Okay, yes, yes, yeah, I understand. You don't need to draw for me. Thank you. Thank you. I understand. I understand. I understand. Empire. Yep, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so this is Ethelmore. We spent three hours going down here. To make it to Blue's house. Right. This is Blue's yeah, house. Gotcha. Here's the clue. Cool. After that, we then had to go on horseback all the way up to the Fowlin and Empire over here. And then now we're really close. Wait, who healed us and what was his hotness level? Uh, who healed you was uh, was Bartholomew. 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 He is. He's a medic. Cause he's he's seen some shit. <laughs> um, he uh, he didn't quite make it to the. He he was a front lineman, and he was a front man a lot. That's why he knows medicine so well. First first hand experience. He had no teeth. What? He had half an ear. What? And he was good as hell at making sure you guys knew how to get that arrow out. He God. mansplained every second of it as he pushed it through your body. Here at Twitch Lays D and D, we want to recognize all the frontline workers who have served like this one pandemic. To <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, it was a two. No! For those of you in the medical field, we especially value putting your life in danger on the front line. No, no, this was a good one. It's different. Uh, anyways, well, Patrick, I knew you were confused. I'm adding it to you. Thanks. So we wait, we're here now. So we yeah. were here. <laughs> yeah. And then, and this is where like most of the campaign took place. Like Blackson's family. Yeah. Winter. Where's see? the cart? The cart's over here. Yeah. So we're going back there. I don't want to go back to the. Cart. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. How long would that take us? Maybe. Several hours. Maybe like more than three. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, you're not gonna go fast. Yeah, I don't think we were. Okay. Yeah, so it might actually be advisable to like go over here and then to where the trail is at. Yeah. Cause there's like a little road you yeah. know, that leads into where they're at. You know, it's, it's... <laughs> Anyways, you guys go back to the Jean family estate. Can I find a shortcut? <laughs> it's a straight line. Can't you see? <laughs> no, but if you make a bigger curve, it, it, okay, it takes less me, time. Okay, but let me. Okay, this is my fault, everybody. Give me a second. The reason why I is because I didn't. Maps. I didn't make it big enough. I didn't make it big I enough. I can't see. White paper wish. on camera ain't great. Well, I, I, it's my fault, but I understand that. So what it is is we have this really big. Bi okay, actually. Can, you, can you make a map out of the minis or? Whatever? All right, this bit's over. Um, anyways. This bit's never over. <laughs> I committed to it, and now I'm done. Oh, get out of here. It was nice. Nice. Um, Gone forever. You guys go back to the estate. At this point, there's still a lot of guards out and about, and a another- Who's paying them? Get off my lawn! Um, 
<laughs> the tension has has lifted. There's now a, a cart that has a jail like a jailer's cart is now placed with magical binds to it to make sure nothing crazy happens in there. Um, you have a hearse there as well for for the collect the dead um, mm -hmm. of the guards as well as of those of the family estate. Uh, all of the workers have now been un, um, out of unchained and are no longer bound. After the expression, after they've done their investigation, they realize the the, the workers aren't a part of this. Um, there is another person who is a messenger, and he has already been there before you guys made it there in time. So, Neelan made it back to the city, and another message got sent out to them to make sure that everything is in order. So, you guys get there, and there's guards just kind of like cleaning up and tidying and lingering about, waiting to do an, an on you know an escort back to uh, back to town. Uh, you guys go there. You head back to the soup kitchen. Uh, Toadig wanted to see if it was still there. He goes in, and inside of the soup kitchen, you see a familiar face of Jenna. You Jenna! See, um, your mother is not meandering in, in the oh, middle God, area. Oh, God, they're going to say not there. Jesus Christ, Devin, don't... She's not in, like, immediate eyesight. Okay. She's not off in her own little separate room okay. where she wants to be alone and private. Uh, you have Thorn, who's got his mask off, and he's just enjoying, like, uh, some tea. And... Briar and Rosie are also kind of like relaxing in the area, hidden, and they see you guys enter. What? Where did? Where did you go after this? We've been waiting for you after, after the whole situation. We went in and the, they were already prepared. We have kind of snuck a few things out with us. We wanted you to look at it if you had. Snuck a few things out. Sort of. We didn't want them to see. We didn't understand if they were friendly or not. So we made it in, took a few things, made our way out. What things? You want to show me those Sure, we, uh, you should, why not? We um, stopped the war. Well, we did stop the war also. So the war has been completed. Yeah. It never begun. We, we the soul, won. the gem got back to Faladin. They resurrected him right then and there. He is good and fine. He has a headache, but he's uh, good. You see, Rosie, like, that's where you've been. My God. Okay, um, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad the war is not going on then. I'm imagining Nova's rushing to winter, winter. with the gem, just smashing her with the face with it. <laughs> just right, right. right. <laughs> um, that is correct. She took the gem, and with the gem, she said, I'm going to go find Tol uh, Tol 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 Tolbridge? Sure. Talbridge. He's the cleric that you guys met just a few gotcha. years ago. Nova took the gem and... Um, went and grabbed Tal. Oh, no, no, sorry. Winter's in here. She's not back home. Yeah, she's, she's where she's here with there. us. Um, yeah. Nova rushes back. Forgot about that. Gianna's not here to yell at me. Nova rushes back to where she could find the body of, of Winter. And she tries to cast a spell, and it doesn't work. And she's like, fuck. Well, she eats the gem. I need to get in contact with... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Let's, we need to get back... I need to Should go. we ask Sawyer? I mean, those those clerics in that bar, they did it once. They should be able to do it again. No, there was there was the cleric that, that tried to resurrect her the first time. Oh yeah, that one. That oh one. yeah. He he can do it, right? I mean Yeah, probably. Right? Can you do it? Did they they did a different process that, wait, damn it, out of character. They did a different process. Though, they, right? did, did, they did a spell. You're not, they didn't know her soul wasn't in the material. Like, they attempted a cast. The gotcha. cast failed. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, we don't know if we can do it, to be fair. Yeah. So... We <laughs> <laughs> so haven't seen him do it! <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can, and, and after seeing that Orford got resurrected, she was excited. And she begs that we head back to town. And she says, if you guys don't do it, I'm going to take her on my own. All right, we, we can take the soup kitchen. We can okay. start trucking back. You guys make your way back to the soup kitchen, and you get back to Um you make, you make a beeline. Where are you trying to put it? Mansion. Where'd it go? Where are you trying to put it? The mansion. I'm trying to help you. The mansion's gone. Like I say, we're leaving. We're oh, leaving. we're leaving. Okay. The mansion. Yeah. I was trying to help Tech Booth. <laughs> I heard someone talking to me. Oh no! Who is that mystery? The mansion is not there present because we have another scene that is coming up shortly after. Okay. But what we do have is she requests that we head back to Talbridge, the man who worked the the high cleric of Ill Matter. And the party is going to head to the church in Athelmore. I just need one moment, please. 
as we all stand outside. Alright, I'm not going to have Todig out for this one. Blackson's going to go here. Let's get everyone to present around. How are you and, feeling? Um, How are you feeling? Like on a scale of one to ten? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Like, how are you feeling about the adventure? I don't know what this is. I'm <laughs> asking Damien, my friend, how he's enjoying the adventure so far. I don't trust you. What? <laughs> it's a simple well, uh, question. Thank you for the filler. Um, <laughs> I was trying to feel time, and you're giving me jack shit. Trust is something you have to earn. Anyways, we get to the church. After three hours, Nova is anxiously waiting, holding on to winter as you guys make your way. I got it. You keep talking, dude. Okay. All right. Um, get your steps in. I have ADHD, so every time someone moves, I get fucked up. I was gonna say, I'm just like. Just oh, watching. I'm gonna get tested for that. <laughs> I mean, I probably should as well. We could be like a group. Do we make a group chat? <laughs> we can make a group chat. You said memes in the group chat? Yeah. 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 All right, anyways, back to normal. Are you having um, fun with this adventure? <laughs> yeah. Oh Me too. Yeah, I rated a seven. <laughs> I had to choose my parents' death, okay? <laughs> Yeah, right. tell me. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, we now make our way to the church, in which Talbridge is was the sole member inside of it, where they had all of the clerical um, mem members of the clergy uh, underneath and having people sheltered. There was a lot of people now out and meandering about. As when you go to the church, you see that there's people inside, and you see a lot of a, fr a breath of fresh air as people are relaxed, and not necessarily comforted, but no longer as anxious and uncomfortable as they previously were. Hold what, um, refuge in this church. What kind of church is it? Um, it is a large cathedral style church. It is Ooh. the temple, it is a church of Bill Matter. Thank you. Um, I'm not going inside. That's fine. Um, as you guys go to look around inside this, or to look for Talbridge, you kind of like bump into the first cleric and they ask, like, hey, where's Talbridge at? And they're kind of like, uh, you know, somewhere around here. I just, I thought I just saw him. After. Uh like, uh, they don't know where he is? Yeah, they're looking. Oh. Like, it's, there's a lot of people now. Previously, it was a ghost town, as so everyone was hiding and waiting. Isra, do you want someone to wait outside with you? No, it's okay. You sure? Yeah. Don't mind. No, it's fine. Let, let's find Talbridge. Okay. You guys eventually okay? <laughs> search around. Takes you a couple minutes, but from asking from person to person, you're able to be like, oh, Talbridge is over here. You go on a wild goose chase and eventually get to him. Uh, and when he gets over, he's like, oh, hey, uh, I, you, you guys, look at that! War's over! You know, never started, thank God, but you know, thank you, Will Matter, for, for doing something here. I mean, we kind of did that something. We were the ones that. Uh, Will Matter's did that. helping out wherever he can. Yeah. You never know when some, one small thing makes such a difference. Yeah, and then we do the big thing that makes the big difference. Awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just want to make sure credit's done with credit, too. Israfel starts silently crying. Are you okay? Why are you outside? <laughs> You're outside. Though. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm there. I'm not saying. I'm hiding it. Wait, are we inside or outside? We're inside. not in the church. We're inside. Well, yeah, you My inside. name is. Oh, Bot. then I'm not there. Not Ilmitter. You should thank us. Well, thank you. But for, you know, I, I, to each his own. But to each his own. To, for whatever you did. I can't believe I still let you go into the church. <laughs> you chose to not go into That's the church. True, I guess. <laughs> so Nova we, fucking shoves you out of the way. I'm gonna say yeah, Can you me. help us? And, and, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Blackson. Can you help me? <laughs> and, yeah, there you go. That's, oh, 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 that's oh. Yeah, yeah, yes. What do, you, what do you need, sweet girl? He's like, what you did last night. I need you to do it again. I need you to try once more. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I can help. And where's he the British? goes back inside and heads, <laughs> the, the British? heads into the familiar soup kitchen. You see him kind of like, that's weird. Uh, and then there you can see Winter's body lying there. Um, and she goes down to... Uh, this didn't work last time. Do you give me a second? He goes and messages um, his friend Mog from the church, from the from the thing. He said that he should help me here. Uh, he asks for like, hey, come here. I need your help for this. And f about twenty minutes later, Mog comes back down. You see him enter inside. Uh, ooh, ooh, the crystal, the crystal. Can I see this crystal, please? Nova. Nova has it. Oh, uh, she's gonna. 
in tears, hand it over to him, and he's gonna be like, thank you. And he's investigating, he's like, oh, and he start, he, you start hearing him mumble to himself, and it doesn't, it's English, or it's common, but it's not something that makes sense. So he's going back and forth, and he's like, man, I, I ooh, uh, ooh, he pulls out his notebook, and he starts, his spell book, he starts writing stuff down. Um, I think I got this, I can undo this, give me a second. Place, places it down, um, and he begins to cast a spell. Uh, about a minute goes by, you see the the, uh, the gem shatters, Uh-oh. and you see this. Uh, you see him cast, and as he casts, you see the gem is going to, like, not shatter in an abrupt like glass just got dropped, but the gem itself shatters, and the inside it just stays there as if it just broke an inch out and just expands, and inside you see this like essence, this aura, and it just goes off and I think that's it um Tavridge do you want to take it away uh, you see him kind of like he he reaches for a necklace that holds the two the two hands of Illmatter and he, he takes a knee next to Nova or not next to Nova next to Winter and um looks over to Nova and do you still have the pieces from the last time it should still work and he starts like looking around and where you guys did the last event and where it broke. Mm-hmm. You take the, the, the crystal shards and fragments and he looks around and pulls one out of the side of the wood where <laughs> the last eruption had. I think, I think this should be enough. <sighs> Let's do this. And he starts casting. Uh, about an hour goes by of him casting and people get impatient or say something and he seems well trained and focused. Nothing breaks his attention as no loud sound could stop him from what his work is. He's very talented at this. And an hour goes by. And slowly you see each crystal shard, and even one that you didn't see that was kind of buried into the floor, kind of starts to glow. And you see it, the, the essence permeates from it as it almost turns to smoke, as the smoke cloud begins to kind of fill the area. You see Winter's body lift, similar to the night before, when her spine, as if as if there was a string attached to her belly button, and she just begins to lift up, arching her back, body to the floor, uh, wherever her eyes are, her eyes are now emanating an aura of light, and you see a essence, same color as the one that exited the soul gym, slam back into her, hitting her into the chest, and slamming her into the ground, creating a thud. It did not look comfortable. <laughs> uh, at that point, you hear a breath of air deep coming in from winter. She looks up for just a moment and she can recognize everybody. She makes eye contact with the crowd and she looks over to Nova. And as she makes eye contact with Nova, Nova, you recognize a recognition of familiarity as she sees your face as one of the faces that were there when she woke up from this experience. And you see her exhale once more, and she goes limp. But you see her breath still breathing. Um, Nova is going to make a medicine check. Uh, it's going to be good enough. That's way scarier this time. That was very scary. <laughs> yeah, it's, magic is dark. It's <laughs> dark. Resurrection magic is necromantic in nature. But there, Nova, Nova recognizes, and she basically says, like, she's still breathing. And she looks over Talbridge and she's, is she going to be all right? Talbridge says, yeah, it's going to feel like not very good for the next couple weeks or so. She's um, probably going to be pretty out of it. So someone's going to have to take care of her and make sure that she's doing all right. Uh, Todig chimes up. Well, I think I can handle couple weeks. The magistrate was awake in hours. Yeah, it's everyone's body reacts differently. Yes, that's dwarves for you. <laughs> well, that would actually make more sense. Uh, uh, <laughs> it depends. It, it kind of goes affects off how old you are at the time. Your body can affect affects differently to different folk. Younger folk don't do too well after a resurrection. Uh, older folk seem to, because they're already closer to death. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I would a ass- map of those locations as well. I would there. I would assume I would assume someone of a higher higher level would have less negative effects, but someone huh. of a lower level would be affected greatly. That's interesting. So if you had a commoner stat block, 
it would be a lot worse of a recovery. But if you were had a noble stat block, you might have a shorter Wait recovery. a minute, wait a minute, what? You gonna look at me and tell me that this world of magic is weird? What are you saying about Winter? She's noble in our hearts. Yeah, but not in rules as written. I was say, <laughs> she's not cool enough to survive harder. I'm saying she's probably got, if I were to guess, is this Tower Bridge? Uh, anywhere from six to seven HP. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably about it. Anyways, good luck with that. Uh, I'm gonna go temp back to tending, and if you guys need me, I'll be here. Um, Any other questions? I mean, you want to give him the other two? I guess not. Oh, all right, I think we're... Um. What about one? The other two. I just want to see what the other one does. No. No. Nope. Who the heck are in the other two? Yeah, I want to know. I want to, let's, I mean, let's do wait, one for now. Wait, are you saying log chimes in? Are you guys saying you have more of those? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's do two. Let's just one for now. Can I take a look? I just want this one. We need a body for it to be relevant. True. No. Oh, we don't? Can I, uh, can I see one of those? Can I okay. please? Sick. I give, I give the less pretty one. Ooh. Ooh. Mind if I study this? Is that Go possible? for it. Yes. You have a moral responsibility to release the soul, though. Sure. Okay. He goes and he starts just, uh, uh I'm going to take this back to, if you guys need this back, it'll be in my office. We don't uh, need it back. Okay, I'll be in my office. You release it within a week. Uh, you got it. I'll do that. All right. I'd like a piece of you your You don't hair. speak for the party. Ooh. I would like a piece of something. Uh, Oops, the figure out. You don't want to see what it can do? I do want to see what Me, it can do. Absolutely not. No. Listen, no. these were stored away in my family's weird book I want to know who it basement is. Basement dungeon. I, I want to know why they're so powerful. It feels weird to also, yeah, take away the, if someone the wrote, right she has. You might be able to cast an identify spell on it to see what it can Wait, do. Wait, Israel, when did you walk in here? True. Oh, yeah, you are here. No, no, you, he We're went. We're in the soup kitchen. No, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Soup yeah. kitchen. We're back out to the soup kitchen. You keep hopping in. I'm helping with Nova. Uh, Towbridge, <laughs> Towbridge leaves, um, and Mog, Archmage Mog, goes back to his area to do some studies on this crystal. Hold on. Yes. Israfel would like to say some things. Sure, Israfel. <laughs> Those are people's pure souls in there. That's really interesting. Recall what the gentleman said, that it's an abyssal torture also interesting. of non-release. Very interesting. We need a high-powerful wizard to release them as soon as possible. Well, let's go find a high-powerful wizard, but first, let's just see what it can do. Both can well, happen. Israel, shut up. I was going to say, Alright, cool. Bye. Your fellow's going to go to the basement and be there. Okay. Your fellow goes to the basement. But that was rude. Uh, Tower Bridge exits. Uh, what's his name? Exit. And we are all standing there. You go back to your mother and she's yeah, kind of... help my mother out. Make sure she's alright. But I think before I do that, I want to like talk to Blue for just a little okay. quick second. You pull Blue off to the side. Um, you know, you can be 100% honest with me you know I don't judge you I always want to put your agency first do you know who are in those two soul gems no nope. 100% no idea I just think it's kind of interesting that my dad <laughs> held on to them in secrecy for so long I just kind of want to know he's had them for a while yeah a very long time a very long time so I uh, just a very long time from whatever I'm not here insight check <laughs> One of them is very old. That's not a great one. It's like full transparency, yeah. Blackston. Okay. One of them is very old. Don't know which one, but I would just like to know why it was so important and what the heck it does. Okay. And then we could be like freedom. <laughs> I'll I'll trust you in this. What if what if it was like a really bad person? We don't know yet. But what if it was like like. Basically, the devil, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think when we talk to your dad, let's ask him about who's in those two gems. Yeah, okay. And then we can proceed from there. Yeah. 
again, I just think it's really interesting that my parents decided to hide this for a very long time, and then seeing how it goes into the people like that, what happens later, it's very intriguing. I'm gonna say to have two for a long time and then wait. It's silly that they don't label their soul gems. I agree, bot. My parents have never been organized. How do they keep them straight? I mean, it was in a box, so I'm hoping they like taped it down so they wouldn't wiggle around a lot. Yeah. And you know, with two of them being really old and two of them being very recent, that feels like it's something. So. I'm I... willing to back you up on to find out why these are even here in the first place. And then we'll... we'll... Yeah! Then freedom! <laughs> I'll try to warm it to Itzerfeld, because I think Itzerfeld is very strong on this and definitely has the strict path he wants to follow, but I think there should be openness to discovering what this means to find answers from Snowden himself. Alright, and then I'm gonna... Wait, before you leave, well, Blackston, do you know anything about these? Um, would I know anything about these? Uh, werewolf boy knows magic. Werewolf blood hunter fey person. <laughs> uh, like, what if... Should I just ro roll random yeah, history give me, check? Yeah, give me a d20, and we'll see if this is either history or... Arcana. Random d20. It's a 14? A 14? You know, with an, like a history of it... Oh, and then we added his. Would you want me to add history? Yeah, history. Then just, uh, Or arcana. Because you've probably heard about these... I'm when you were in the Feywild, you've definitely heard of things that, like, Let's say Arcana, because it's higher. 21. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, you've heard of a soul gem before. It's not super common, and it's not used. It definitely wasn't used some very often in society. It was outlawed so much that it's, like, a myth to a point. Yeah. And anyone doing something of that nature could be... It's been buried under the rug. Very gotcha. deep. Gotcha. You know of the existence and how they're used, and there could be could be consumption based. You can consume someone's soul in it. What? That's that's a new fact. Uh, that is crazy news to me. Yeah. Don't want to do that. Keep it away from the soups. Don't tell Todrick. All right, I won't tell Todrick. But yeah, I haven't had first hand experience with them. I don't even know how you would be consumed as in not eat, but consumed as in used. So, ah, yes. Yeah. Blue is dumb. <laughs> We're all a little bit dumb, um, but yeah, so that's what I know about those. I don't have a lot of first-hand experience with it, but y you hear whispers every now and then when you I, do a lot of I papers. just do know one has been here longer than I probably have been. So, it's of high importance to your dad, or possibly to yeah. your bloodline. Who knows? Let's go find out! Let's go find out! Alright, and then I think we're gonna... Okay, an identify spell could assist with this. Mm -hmm. um, maybe assist with this. It would have a role to it. And I think but you have that spell. <laughs> and uh, um, after I've done with blue, I would like to go over to check on <laughs> What spell? I love you. I'm sorry. Identify. Uh, you go down to Israfel. Right. Door's okay. super locked. I pick it. <laughs> you want my, my kit? Wait, no. Why? I'm stupid. I phased through the you door. You forgot the word, please. ISRA. Roll a perception check first. Okay, Before first. you face the door, you take a little peek through the lock just to see what's going on. That's a fit, 17. Um, you look inside, and what do you see? Um, Israel fell silently in a corner talking to skeleton. <laughs> Jesus. That's not normal. I'm still going to try and come after you. Uh, Israel Get out. I just want to talk for a little bit. Just... Not right now. Um, alright, I just hope you know that there was no hard feelings, no animosity. I, we know things. You've got get trapped heated. people's souls, you need to release them. We will find out what to do with them once we identify it and figure it out. We don't want to just do stuff blindly, Israfel. I totally understand where you're coming from, but I just want to make sure we know all the facts before we make a stern decision on something. If that makes sense. Um, Israfel turns to face you and he is heavy tears right now. Aww. Is this just about the soul gems or is there something else? Yeah, if we release them and their body is still around, 
We don't want to release them if they could be revived. Hey, but the door's still super locked. What if they could be <laughs> saved? Um, but is this about still about the soul gems or is there I can yell through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so intrigued. I'm gonna murder this robot. Just just give me a second, bot. <laughs> what were you saying? There's... Come at me, bro. Okay, okay. Blue pulls pulls bot aside and they go have some soup. <laughs> some robot soup for the soul. So uh see so is this still about the soul gems or is there something else going on? There's so much going on. There's so many things wrong right now. And I'm very happy that things turned out well. But a lot of things in it and I just I don't know how to feel and I don't know what to do and I have a lot of work to do and I just think you need to let those people go you just can't keep them there and have your little fun celebration while they're stuck there so we're, not, we're not gonna celebrate we're not gonna do anything or just Mr. Phil, I... Whatever you're feeling, I want you to feel it with us. Because I think if other people saw what you're going through, they maybe would help understand it a little bit more, but... I don't... I don't want you to feel like you have to run away to the basement, to the dead. You have friends in all of us. I know we're at odds a lot of times, but you still have friends and all of us. Lex, so what am I going to do with all these people? And he gestures to, I say, yeah, to the, the skeletons that are standing motionless around him. We can... I'm totally down to help you bury them. Where? To Who? Help. How? Perhaps... The we mansion! Can... We could f go back to... Hold on. Uh, hey, Sean, <laughs> you just want to bury a bunch of corpses on your mansion property? You want to make it into, like, a big graveyard? Be great for the soil. Cool, we're back here, Damien. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, we can possibly go through the work and effort of uh, seeing if we can identify them. With, this with one's them name more? was... Thomas. Thomas. And he was a father. And his, I don't even know if his family lives here anymore. And I don't know if they even knew he died. And I took him from the ground and I used him. And I didn't give him a choice because I thought we had to stop a war. And now, and now he's just here. Well, this one's Thomas in the green I'm shorts. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you gave a minifigure to this existential crisis. It's for, it's for well, visuals. Thanks. We, we need the I'm, visuals. I know you can speak with the dead. Maybe something I would like to help you do. With all of these skeletons, I do mean all of them. Let's write down and tell as much of their story as we possibly can. And the animals? The animals? Animals have stories too, to a degree. I can't speak to dead animals. Maybe you and Bot can do a little team up where you raise the dead That's and cute, Damien. That's not how that works. We can act like That's it. That's not how that works, Damien. Does Israfel know that? Yes, he does. He's okay. tried. <laughs> Never mind. Animals, we can try to find the nearest location of where they would have been buried and bury them properly. They came from a museum. They weren't even <laughs> where they were supposed to be then. Well, then we'll put them where we're supposed to be. Where they should be. Close to the Do earth. You know, e the I don't even know what this one is. It's a goat with sharp vertical horns. I don't... Where does this come from? 
Well, I mean, they have some research on it at the museum. We could find out. Fuck right off. Damien, that was fucking that funny. Was fucking I need you. That was fucking What I want more than anything else right now is I want a history check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bl fucking Blackson, tell me where an Ibex comes from. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not great. It's not great. It's, um, uh, it's a... 12. You've never seen a breed of goat like that in your life. <laughs> you don't even know what era or like what um, what era of goat that is or what like era weird, of what era a goat that shit's from. Well, the museums. <laughs> Fair enough, but what you saw in this in this moment when Isserfeld throws that line at you, you kind of stare at it for a second and the, like a moment. Insight check, real quick. I just want this from you. Uh, Matt twenty. You see him look at that goat, and he's like, I, yeah, you're right. But the museum does. <laughs> there's, in the pursuit of knowledge, there's always a way to find the answer. It may never be 100% clear. It may take years to find, but there is usually an answer you can obtain through other resources and other means that we aren't open to yet. Perhaps there is someone who may help us identify it in a way that we might never even think of. But the fact that there's knowledge out there that we don't understand. I can't ask the goat for forgiveness. <laughs> you, but you can still try to talk to it. Talking never hurts. You never know what might be listening. I, I know I'm not the best at making this all fit together in a way that works. And I don't think there is an easy solution to get what you need from this. There's not going to um, be. Around you, the skeletons that were standing stiff and tall um, begin to just collapse. Um, fingers start falling off, Ooh. ribs, and suddenly the cacophony of just calcium hitting stonework floor shatters around you, and Israfel falls to his knees. I'm just going to... Go down on your knees with you, put like an arm around you. I will. <laughs> Stop adding visuals! <laughs> oh my god, he's dropping all those visuals! This is an emotional scene! The audience needs to see it. Oh, they need to see skeletons <laughs> fall to the floor? I thought I painted a very good visual picture. You did. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful word picture. Thank you. Good alliteration to it. Thank you. Um, so. I will help you in any way I can. Will I find the answer to everything? I don't know, but I will do my best to help you. That is one thing I can say for certain. And one thing I can promise to you, regardless of what happens. You're not alone, Israfel. You're never gonna be alone. Some of a comment that okay, we're still standing. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> He's doing great. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've never been the one to distract him. I'm so bad at this. So, a great time. why don't we go upstairs, eat some soup. I hear Toadig doing little stirs. My little wolf ears hear it. Um, and we can um, enjoy some time together. I need to work on this still. I, I'm gonna be down here, but a bit of soup would be nice. Gladly. I'll make biscuits yeah. too. I'll bring Thank something. you. And I'm just gonna. One, one last hug to Israel. Okay. Then release. And I will go up to grab him some soup and some Okay. Cool. Some good shit from Black, so that's nice. <laughs> that was good shit. Bromance. Bromance. <laughs> you guys get some soup. Um. Everyone's kind of a little awkward, a little thing. Um, uh, Winter is now laying on the, is perched on the couch. And she is... Look at that character growth. <laughs> and a ray. And a ray. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Look at that character growth. <laughs> From Phoenix, Waki. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you see the lifeless body of, not lifeless body, <laughs> The tired body of, near lifeless body of Winter, as she's laying on a, on a couch in a near coma, comatose state. She has just enough energy to like get 
some soup fed into her and she feels much, she see like kind of feel better as this chicken noodle soup just hits right. And you guys are, it's late in the evening at this point. You've had several hours of travel. It's probably close to three, four in the morning. Uh, you guys are exhausted. Yeah. And um, everyone's gonna sleep real good right now. Mm -hmm. Nova doesn't leave Winter's side. She stays there the whole night and she pulls up a little, one of those really comfortable reading chairs that you can kind of just like put both legs on and then curl up into oh, a ball. Oh yeah. The ones you see at like college, uh, college libraries, those are the ones. Those are the ones you sleep well in. And Bot doesn't leave Nova's side. Bot, you stay stationed <laughs> there as well. Um, everyone goes to sleep, I'm assuming? Nope. What are you doing? Constantly casting Speak With Dead as a ritual until I write down every one of their names. Okay, so you get the story of every single one of your skeletons. And this will take me probably... All night. 10 minutes times 30, so... Well, and then five questions each. Though some of them are animals. It's gonna take me at least five hours. Yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah, five-ish. Next, <sighs> next morning's gonna come. You're gonna have that a point of exhaustion. Thing. Yep, that's what... You can't speak to the dead. I can write. Go to bed. All right. Blackston, you're pretty wiped out. There's a lot... I mean, the anxiety of, of writing and making the war just not happening. Mm. Your body is tense, and you can feel your, like, neck just... Relax, as everything is calm for the night. Cuddle party with my fave girlies. A kiki, if you will. <laughs> I only know that kiki. from Glee. Um, I want to have a kiki. You decide to get the sec the other uh, seat, and you and Nova sit together on like a little like love seat together and get kind of comfortable as Nova falls asleep on your shoulder, and Bot, you just kind of sit there for the eternity because you don't need to sleep. You just need to rest. So you're conscious the whole time, and every time Winter moves or needs help or something, you you know get her, a, fetch her some water, put Nova off to the side, and you've been tending as well while Nova's asleep. <sighs> Everyone wakes up the next morning, and oops, skeletons have been asked. Israfel is probably still on the is laying down. You fall asleep just by the end of the night. Sure. Let's see where's everyone's mini at. Oh, uh, it's over here. So we got Nova's. I don't have a winter mini yet. I want one. I want one so much. <laughs> uh, let's see who I'm missing. Oh, Todic. Total. The fuck did I put that turtle? Oh, I have no idea where that mini went. Oh no, I spent three hours, two hours painting that. <laughs> oh nope. Mm. We'll find that one later. <laughs> Hope I don't find it with my foot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, no. uh, anyways, um, the party is now meandering about, enjoying the breakfast that Todic has prepared for everyone. Um, your skeletons are back. Vivian. Skeletons are back in uh, back in the bags, as each one has been asked their questions. And uh, oh, I also have to cast animate dead on the ones that were rabid, so I have to do that too. Cool. Still tired. Super tired. Still just as wiped out. Yep. Sick. Super sick. <laughs> Definitely. Um, next morning comes. Everyone's eating. Israfel's the only one who's not. Mm -hmm. At breakfast table, uh, and Toted kind of notices and kind of like looks around and he's eating his soup, kind of like. Oh. <laughs> just, I think he might be downstairs. I'll I'll take him some soup. With, All right. well. yeah. Here you go. Gotcha. Have a goal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Very good, Tony. <laughs> uh, I probably take, shouldn't have done that one. I'll take that one. I'll take the soup and go downstairs. Okay, you go down. You see Israfel passed out on the, on the cobblestone floor. <laughs> Face into it. Uh, I'm gonna take the soup, put it right there. I'm going to go upstairs, grab blankets, grab pillows, set up a little uh, mm -hmm. more comfortable space for him to be in downstairs. Sure. You go over and you just slide a pillow underneath. A little yeah. blankie. A little blankie. If Israfel is not canonically a heavy sleeper, I would blast you so hard right now. A second blankie. <laughs> a second blankie. <laughs> he seems a little grumpy like still. Maybe they're kind of, It's kind of cold down in the and basement. Like, and like, do like the really tight oh, tuck in, like, where it's just like the full on like. Right, right, right. Not only is Mr. Phil canonically a heavy sleeper, he's super tired. Oh yeah. Definitely <laughs> yeah. not gonna move. You might have woken up in somewhere in that, but uh, you definitely didn't respond. No, no. <laughs> All right, at this. Dead tired. <laughs> um. Blackson, you can go over and say hi to your mom if you'd like, who's yes, also at the breakfast table. Undead yes, tired. So. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> wild, Meg. So things are finally seem to be settling in now that yeah. the whole war thing seems to be off the table, well, mostly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
That's true. Do you really think our family had something to do with that? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. percent i not, maybe not the whole family, but... What do you think they're gonna do? They probably are going to do a deep investigation into who hired them. Hopefully we can get those answers first before anyone does. I, I hope so. I hope that they can find out who did this. You know, this is horrible what happened. Yeah, I still definitely recommend staying around us for a little bit. I don't... Because if the assassin, the person who hired assassins, is in the family, and they know that our party was responsible for stopping it... It could be dangerous. Yes. You see I'll, where I'm going. I'll stay. I'll yes. stay inside. The room wasn't too bad. I, it was actually kind of nice. Very quiet. Yeah, it's really... Quieter than I expected. Yeah, for a soup, for a soup kitchen, it does, does a lot yeah, of that, things. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that turtle friend of yours, he's, he's squeaky. Yeah. Yeah, every time he walks, I thought it was the wood that was creaking, but it was actually just him in his shell. Yeah. You, it's a weird sound. But, you know, it's all 100% toe dig, so yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't put it down. He's very kind. Yes. Very kind. So, yeah, hopefully stay around until we know for sure that you're 100% safe. Okay. I'll and just... I'll just keep reading. There's yeah. some books in here that he has. He's quite a lot of recipes. I'm going to try cooking after all this. Yeah, oh. I love that. And uh, oh. that little Jenna girl. Jenna? Wow, she's a lot. Love her. <laughs> she is a lot. Love Jenna. She reminds me of, she reminds me of you a little bit. Aww. In the stabbing things kind of, kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I taught her to do that. I taught her to do mo more precisely. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, 23. You see very, very clearly that she is very, not necessarily displeased that you just taught a young, uh, uh, a little girl or a teenage girl, a very influential teenage girl how to kill things. And she's a little, like... And we go a lot of places, she has to know. Right, right, right. That makes she, sense. Was, she was in charge of defending the soup kitchen, so... You put her in... Yeah. Right. It was either that or go directly onto the front lines, and we thought this was a safer option. That would be a safer option. If you want to be, I can teach you how to stab things too, so you can kind of do like a little tag team thing with it. I think I'm good. All right. Didn't Thank think you. So. Though. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna go back to reading some of these books. Uh, there's a lot of people out and about. I just like being alone. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you need me, I'll, I'll be reading. I'll guess I'll be working on some food too. If you have any recommendations. Yeah. Any uh, favorites? Um, okay, I want to describe her some of the meals that uh, my dad showed us in the airplane. Got it. Cute. Got it, got it, got it. Some, like, family recipes. Sure, fun. sure, sure, sure. A little family recipe. She, I, I think he has a book about exotic foods. Let me go, I'll go check that one out. Yeah, lovely. So she goes uh, off into her merry way. Um, Blue, anything to do while this is going on? Because uh, in the meantime, um, Blackson's going to be, or Isabel's sleeping. we got a couple hours to kill. Um... I'm just trying to figure out when the best time to acknowledge my, my family in prison is. If sure. It's, to talk about these uh, soul stones. 100% sure. sure. That, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, you can always go to, uh, what's his name, Mog, if you want any identification to the spell, the, the gem that you currently wield. Yeah, let's do that. I'll go with okay. you now. I could <laughs> use fine. a punching bag. Oh, I love, I'll attend you as well. Really? Um, you try to go I, to speak, but maybe we should. <laughs> But, but take a minute, take a minute. But you might want to. Right now you're out of here. You may want to bring it down to like a like a, like a here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a minute. Why do I need a minute? Oh, and a what? A minute. Oh. Just you know, we're going. The war may be completely off the table, but too much. Uh, ba -ba -bone, you know, can like put it back on the table real quick. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> but you can you can go with blue to go see if you can investigate the family. Beating up bad guys is what we do. Go. Yeah, 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 and and we did that. We did that. You know, we've done a, that a couple times. You guys, but you can you can head to the castle. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tend them too as well. Uh, sure. You you head to the castle with uh, the Aether Palace, and as you arrive, the guards are there and. You try to make your communications known. Uh, eventually, uh, Captain Nealon comes back down and he says, uh, 
Um, hey guys, uh, nice to have everyone back. Captain Neil is the guard that, um, the captain of the guard that you assisted in getting the soul gem and stopping this war. We can't thank you enough. I, I spoke with the queen. We should be having a ceremony very soon for what you've done for us. Should be in a couple weeks. We need to get all the paperwork settled. The, uh, fa uh, the, fa the Faladin Empire is going to be communicating with us soon and we should be able to try to open up some form of communication. A ceremony? Yes, a ceremony! Will there be medals? Yes, I believe there should be medals. You guys are honorary members of, this, of the kingdom. You stopped a war, you saved countless lives for, for just... Yay. <laughs> I'm glad that you're happy. At least you're not asking for gold. We're good. <laughs> In about two weeks from now, we should have a ceremony, and that's where we'd like to present you um, as honorary, honorary members of the kingdom. We did it! So, with that being said, is there anything I can help you guys with right now? Yes. What would you like? <laughs> okay, so, I have this box. And in this box, there are two people. One. One people. Oh, it's two people. Well, I gave one to the wizard and then everyone right, yeah, right. has one of them. Yes. Right. Um, there is one whole person, uh, kind of. Okay. I would like some help figuring out who this person is and also to talk to my papa. Your parents. Let's, let's, or uh, let me, we'll have to organize something. They are dangerous individuals. We... It takes, we cur currently have them sedated. Oh, wow, okay, uh, seems like a lot. Because, <laughs> well, that <laughs> did see, we thought that um, binding and anti-magical binding was necessary. Uh-huh. And then they were able to throw a psychic knife downing one of our guards, our, our, our jailers. Uh -huh. That was a mess, we had to get him back That's up. That's metal. Yes, so <laughs> we have your parents currently sedated and they're on guard from as many individuals that are capable as possible. It's a tiring process. We could organize one, but it, it's gonna take a minute. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, take, take your time. Yes. Um, it's kind of important before, you know, they kick the bucket. Sure. The basket, bucket. Um, after bucket. the negotiations, <laughs> might be best. So how, how do you think about after, after the ceremony takes place, I think that would be the best time to speak with them. That should give us enough time to have a, a cell designated for an anti-psychic ability. We have not encountered something like this before. We didn't know that there was this kind of inherent magical essence in people. I mean, it's just my mom and dad. I could like just go in there real quick. We can't have them wake up without having any more means yeah. of just make sure to get those hands. Those hands can do a lot. Uh, yeah, it's, we, it's really the hands. Like get like one of those behind the hand chain things going on might be your best bet. We will do our best to maintain. <laughs> so when exactly is the celebration? Should be in about two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. After that, you should have your status necessary to speak with them. At the moment, we have the. There's a lot going on. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Okay, I understand. I understand. Oh, status. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's. Do we get a fancy title? That's I, where I'm confused too. I. Th I think so. This we is... stopped the war, pal. Uh, that's what I'm Turned saying. Turned in my parents. Yes. To the death side. You, you... were criminal assassins. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. There's no, 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 no. no tobacco There's cur... kills. <laughs> Sorry. That was funny. Do we get to be <laughs> sirs or dames? I'm not sure. I believe master is also another one. There's there's many there's many different titles, and I think. Uh, they'll have to be deciding on that. Currently, there's an ongoing investigation about who hired these individuals. We're starting to track that there's people involved with this group way outside of our realm of uh, scope that we thought. We have corruption leading from from each major family. Yeah, that drags. Master bot. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Uh, sure you do, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You did it to yourself! May, maybe we could push a little bit for before the celebration. <laughs> Do like a couple of things. Woo! Hold on! Shy! Yeah? Master bot! No, I did it! <laughs> I did it. I didn't. It took me a second. <laughs> okay, so Devin. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. I'll try to make sure that we can, yeah, um, I just made a 
a master bot joke. <laughs> My soul has left my body like every single one of those goddamn victims. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, come back in a bit. I don't know if I can get it done today. We gotta have some form of restraints for them so that no one gets killed and they don't break out. So. No, I totally get that. Bot or Dame Bot is good too. Hmm. Nope, it's too late. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> discuss what, what, we, what can be done. But right now, that's out of my hands. I am predominantly on the investigation. We're finding documents leading from Driftwood, documents leading into assassinations that took place um, in Athelmore yeah, just recently. Yeah, you know, recent. you guys ever need, like, more help? You know I'm their daughter, right? Yes. Well, I understand that, but I... I... Okay. If we need any help, we'll come to you first. <laughs> I mean, clearly. <laughs> we're just trying to make it... We're trying to go through the right channels so that things don't get, you know, forgotten or any mistakes are made. We're doing our very best. Okay, yeah, you good. good job! Thank you. Um... Anyways, again, there's the ceremony in two weeks. It'll be on this day. Um, you should be decorated members of the kingdom after that. I don't know much about it. This is kind of a, a, out, my, out of my realm of expertise. This is this is from beyond my range. Yeah, me too, pal. Um, otherwise, I, I have to get back to it. If you guys need anything else, please feel free to ask for me. I should be able to arrive. He gives you where he lives as well. Um, if I'm not on the clock, I should be here at my place of residence. Do not bother the man while he's not on the clock. His off time is his off time. I'm he's always on the clock. I just like to rest in my own home. Are you being paid? Uh, it's salary. Oh, that's, that's basically wage theft at this point, dude. <laughs> I'm on call. Oh, God. Right. Oh, no. <clears throat> Anyways, that's where he's going to let you guys be on your way. Mm -hmm. um, you are going to go, would you like to do a mog now after? You can't get in. He doesn't have an ability for you guys to see your dad. Yeah, all good. Oh, uh, you go back up to the, artif the, uh, the Archmage's Tower. You go inside, and there's students kind of around, and you see a kid on a little... Uh, Little wheel, the, the, the wheel thing. What up, kid? That's Yo. a really dope thing. I hope you know. Like, sup, dude? Like, yeah, big fan. You guys yeah. like it? I'm yeah. working on a second one right now. Yo, Whoa. can we get it? Uh, it's in the process. This is the pro this is the prototype. I got a new one coming out. Just hit me up in a little bit. I was gonna say when you get the new one, give us. The, we'll take the prototype. You got it, bro. Right. You got it. Hell yeah. See you later. All right. Um, I strut around with a puffed up chest. All right. Um, you guys head to the Archmage's Tower, and you guys make it to the top. Um, you guys, uh, each, no one's really stopping you from going along the way, and people kind of give you weird looks, and you get to the top door, where it's like a, basically a penthouse of this tower. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? <laughs> I know that voice anywhere. Goes back up, opens the door. <laughs> How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Uh, I have not slept at all since last night. Okay, Future Knights of the cool. Kingdom. That's awesome. Good for you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, you guys have any questions? I was just working on the on that that, that gem of yours. Yeah. It's really yeah. interesting. Do we know who's in it? I make my cloak below. Cause we got another one. I think I, I think I've made an enchantment like that before. I was never really a good enchanter, but I have learned about this. And he goes in and he starts like he goes. He casts a magical spell on the soul gem, and you can see like it like expands visually, like an illusion base. And you can expand and see like a detailed vision of the person. Um, everyone roll me a perception check, please. I rolled, come on. I rolled a three. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and that 15. one. 15's good. Big yay. I'm, I'm dead asleep. Oh, right. Um, it's okay for me to say it, I'm an actor. I'm focused on my own reflection. Dead drone. <laughs> right, right. Um, he goes in and he starts like looking at it. You guys rolled like garbage. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I guess I'm just gonna give it to you because it makes sense. You look at it and it takes a little bit of time to kind of focus. And he's like, "Ooh, sorry, a little foggy, a little foggy." He's clearing up the fog, takes some time, <laughs> and eventually you see the face of J Mr. Jason Arnold Chancy. Huh. Wow. wow. You see him wandering. Um, Still who, deserves to be released. Who this is, yes, is you guys look at the face of a man who bought you recognize him as well. He is currently walking in an abyss of white. Just nothing as far as I can see. I know this fucker. <laughs> that is correct. Jason Arnold Chase. Yeah. And his jawline. He's a very handsome man. He was a, he was a handsome guy. Was. Uh, he was a member. He owned a meadery. He did own a yeah. meadery, bot. Um, in, while he was there, he commissioned the, or sent out for the Silent Hand to put an end to his rivals and 
uh, his business rival, someone who's been se selling uh, alcohol illegally and se stealing his. So he's been out you know, causing him problems. He sent for the Silent Hand to kill this person or kill his patrons. Well, he went and did spoke with an assassin who happened to be a disguised version of one of our party members. After a after him going in and realizing that he's been bamboozled, he was oh, yeah. Yeah. roped down and interrogated, <laughs> and then stabbed twice. <laughs> Stab. What do you know? Stab. <laughs> Before he could respond, just so we're clear. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we were some murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were we? um, uh, if I gave you this one, could you pull? Uh, Emphasize the image? Is that the word? Uh, uh, enhance? Enhance! Yeah, yeah. It's not CSI enhance. Miami. <laughs> enhance. It's enhance. Funny. I actually use an illusionary spell called Enhance. Oh! I hate this. It's I, hate one, this. I actually invented it myself. I hate this. He, oh, oh, what do you hate about it? I'm not even here. Got it. <laughs> it's in the school of CSI, don't you uh, know? No, check this out. He opens his window and he's like, check, and he casts Enhance, and, he, and his window turns into a, basically like a binocular. <laughs> But his entire window now, it's, like, it's touch screen. You poke it, Whoa. and then you move it, and he's like, you can see about, it's about a 10 times magnification. So far. So crazy. The higher you cast it, the more you can see. Go as far as you can go. Oh, you know what? Come and catch me on a different day, and I'll show you that shit. <laughs> he moves it, and he's like, he looks over there, and <laughs> this man, he's like, <laughs> kind of a perv. No! <laughs> Him, you can't make him the dean of a magical school no, no, no. and a pervert. Yes, you can. What's unrealistic about that, Patrick? <laughs> uh, he goes over to a, a club known for Zoom its scantily clad dancers. Ooh, check this out. And you look over closely and you see a guard who's just like <laughs> off into mind his business and he like looks around and just. Digging. <laughs> I like to peep and watch. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting real deep in there. Yeah, it's like, he's he's digging for gold! <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I can do that on your finger. Check this out. He casts it. And he zooms in, and he zooms in, and... <clears throat> gets a good enough roll on that. Um, he can get the cl the clarity is digging in, and you get a, you get a close-up on the person. And... Blue, you don't recognize him. None of you recognize this individual. Um, but at this point, the person, you look at them, and as you do, you see that they're, the soles of their shoes that they were wearing are now worn down. All you can see is they're laying on the ground. They look exhausted. Their clothes are worn and tattered as if they've been walking for a long time. You look down their feet. You can see their bare feet with their shoes over it because they have walked the sole off of it. And... Oh no. Right now you can't identify the person because they're hunched That's over. That's sad. Face is covered by their arms as they're laying there. You see yeah. them breathing. It's but almost like plot convenience that we can't see Can we his shake face. it and then maybe he'll like fall <laughs> and show us his face? Shake it. Shake, shake it. Shake it. Shake the gem. Shake see the if gem. he moves. Let's see if he moves. Earthquake. Do the little fishy fish <laughs> Um, you, you shake it. Uh, it doesn't seem like the external of this. You can't tap the glass like a fish. It doesn't. <laughs> That's the individual's pure psyche in there. Maybe we should release him. Oh! You think, bot? Or why don't we just tell our dear friend, Israfel, mastermind of the. Yeah, no! We no. know we don't know him. We don't. We, st we still don't know him. We still don't know him. Still don't know him. Who Oh, you could guys... be like Harold the baby eater. We don't want to release that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. matter. You guys, you guys are like. I don't want to release a baby eater. We're gonna be careful if we release someone. You're all standing there, and you feel like you hear the silent scream of Israfel coming from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifying it. Just <laughs> <laughs> see him. You're not here. Oh, I guess we can just show up in scenes we're not a part of. The door was locked. <laughs> <laughs> you all hear a silent like, like. You hear a patch of in like, the distance. What is that an, noise? An eldritch being in the in the in the, <laughs> in the astral sea is screaming out in anguish somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, eventually, you guys get back. He, you guys can't get anything out of the there. The soul of Cal shouts, "You're not her." You are, you're not here. Uh, um, 
there was no other defining traits about that individual. Uh, like, gray hair. Wise. Do we know his feet? Did his feet look familiar? No. Okay. He did not have hobbits' feet. But like feet. normal skin tone. Um. Or... Yeah, you could. Uh, they had a darker, dark olive, no. um, like Mediterranean style. <laughs> skin tone. Feet. Gray hair. <laughs> Nasty pervert. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> All right. <Ooh. laughs> yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, you guys finish up here, and he's like, uh, you know what, come back a little bit later, I might be able to... Uh... If the body isn't around, what happens to the soul? If only you asked your you dear know, I, necromatic friend. I think... Uh, <laughs> From what I have read about these soul gems, uh, Mog's responding to you, I think that they just go to wherever hell or heaven or afterlife that they deserve. You know, if they... So we kill the person. I'm asking the expert who is in this scene, unlike Isra. I think... I, I think he's already dead. If this is what you had with your friend, or this is what happened with this Orford Barnes that caused a war, I think that this person's body is disintegrated by now and that their, bot, their soul is just trapped. Whether or not this soul can do anything, I don't really know. That, that puts a more moral dilemma on things, knowing that the second we release it, it's dead. Should just go to its afterlife. Yeah, but like... like I think. Or something really fucking bad happens, holy there's shit! there's possibility of, We like, release a baby a eater! I don't think I want to release a baby eater. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get back to this. Uh, you guys head back into the... We're sending him to hell! Maybe. Where he would theoretically belong. Maybe he doesn't want to leave the bubble. Anyways, oh, you guys shit. you guys get back <laughs> to the soup kitchen, and yes. Israfel is um, kind of up and awake now, and he's yep. stirring around um, alone. Jenna like, came up to you early that morning, or the afternoon, and was like, hey, Israfel, you... nope. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, um, okay. I'm gonna go stab something, all right? All right. Sick. Yeah. Make me proud. Tony comes in and she see, he sees that Jenna has been stabbing like a cauldron, and she's like, "He's like, what the shit are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that is." Oh, I'm actually surprised that held up really well. Can I see that blade here? He's like, "Ooh, you might want to get a sharp a whetstone for that." That slaps the slaps the cauldron. Hell yeah, <laughs> baby, still got it. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. You guys are all back inside, a little tired from walking around. All right. Um, hey, Isif, how you doing? How you doing? Doing all right? I'm okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start writing letters, and... I don't know. Well, um, if you would like to know, we found out who was in one of the soul gems. Do you His name's Jason! Remember our good old friend Jason Chansey? With the jaw? Yeah, with the really fine jaw. Yes, <laughs> I remember him. He was in one of those? Yeah, I don't know. Must have been sometime after he was arrested, but he got put into one of those soul gems. Okay, and he's out now? Uh, no, we don't. We would need to find his body if we wanted to put him back. No, we don't put him back in his body. We just let him go. Why not put him back in his body? Because he's dead. We brought the other two people back from the dead. Because their bodies were still fresh. <clears throat> and that was a miracle. We, To be fair, we don't know how dead he's been. He's probably at least a year dead. Not a year. When did we let... When did we fuck up his plan last time? a couple months. Uh, close to six months, not quite a He's year. He's at least six, six to, months. Six I year. know bodies degrade faster than that. At max six months, not at least. Six to twelve. Six, at least six to twelve <laughs> months. He has, has really been a year? He has no body to go to, Blackstone. And I don't think he needs to go back to it. I agree with Isra. I think we should let them go. Well, we gotta go back to get him. We don't have him. Mog is set to release him in seven days. And if he doesn't, Nova will check. Thank you, yeah. Nova. <clears throat> I don't know, it just feels kind of weird. What? Um, here's a fingernail. Check to see that this gentleman has released the soul stones in, um, in a week, okay? Thank you. I won't be here. You won't be here in a week? 
No, I'm going to, um, when I'm done with this, I'm going to take the animal skeletons and I'm going to let them be an animal for a bit. And then I'm going to bury them. How does that work? Just let the bones do what they want to do for a little bit. Let them kind of choose a place to be buried? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I'm just going to spend some time on my own. Alright, if you feel you need time on your own, feel free to do that. If you need any assistance, though, you know we're only um, distance away from um, where you may be. Can someone help me go to the library today? Yeah. I've okay. got some names and families to look up. Uh, I'd love to help you with that. Okay. Okay. Right. Head to the library? Well, no problem. Yeah. I can help, too. Uh, just want to look up addresses, names, um, last known relatives, all the points of contact. These uh, are all victims of the Hell's Care Kitchen. Hell's care Caretakers. Ta yeah, mm -hmm. Hell's Caretakers. So I'm guessing they're <laughs> local um, to the area recent kills because yep. they were not completely <laughs> degraded. And maybe I'd also like to help, maybe if it was more on a personal level, kind of like socially figure out who maybe has been missing, who maybe has died. On that kind of level? Yeah, you you look it up, no problem. Eagles look up a death record and find who it is. Because they're not on the death record. They the were, their bodies were hidden in a swamp. Well, yeah, but they're, they'd be considered dead after a certain sure. Or maybe or a missing, 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 missing person. Yeah, they, missing you know, missing persons, assumed dead. Assumed yeah. dead, assumed dead, dead missing persons. Yeah. You, go, you go through the missing persons and you find mm -hmm. that there's um, a couple of people that you on there. Is some Thomas of, there? Thomas the Thomas. Tank Engine? Th Thomas, Thomas the guy, who how do you know about Thomas? You weren't there! I, I heard you yelling really loud through the door with I was, not, I was yelling very quietly. I'm very um, <laughs> Thomas, Thomas had a family. He you did. find that he was the sole survivor of like a, a an illness that went through town about 30 years back. 30 years? Why did Hell's Caretaker put him in the body pit? Uh, he turned to a line of crime yeah. after that. Okay. He has a criminal record after his family died. He went basically insane. They're not all going to be innocent, Devin. Yeah, not all of them. They're are. not all going to be guilty. Some of these are innocent. Um, what if he was just there first? The people that got dumped into this pit were not innocent people. Uh, you you track it back, and you do get back to, mostly, um, the people, most of the bodies in this, track back to gang members who were affiliated with the Hellions. That tracks. That tracks. Okay. Um, you then go back and like, oh, you start reading Hel Hellion stuff. Um, Blackston finds a book about the Hellions, which was a, a local gang. Sure. Um, then he goes back and he reads about the gang war that there was between the Hellions and the caretakers. Okay. The gang war happened about a couple of years back. They were, the gang feud was pretty bad. There was yeah. a nasty thing where most of them died in a ma nasty gang war. And then um, they eventually merged to the Hell's caretakers. Okay. And since then, that's what it is. A lot of these people were uh, criminals or people who... Still doesn't justify unethical resurrections. I didn't say that that was the case. Uh, okay. Some of them were, uh, some of them were uh, caretakers, but sure. mostly Hellions. Okay. Uh, some so. of them were. Th there were some young ones that were like eighteen when they got yeah killed. Okay, and, cool. There. So pretty some easy to stories. track down where they're from and whatnot. You find a couple. Yeah, you find a couple of records of their parents. Okay. And like fan, like older, you know, because some of them were like teenagers that died like three, four years ago. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna send uh, as much of the information to the families and to the local authorities. Okay. Let them know that they were found outside of town. The body was and was identified. Okay. Uh, you send those. Or, uh, what do you do with the bodies after that? Um, man, if they have any living families, I'm going to try to offer them free burial. Um, if they don't, I'm gonna give them over to the Church of Ill Matter. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna sign all the notes too. Okay. People need to know it was Israel Dent. You find that there were um, about two thirds of the of the members in this time period. You, it doesn't take you too long to actually find them. They're all most of the people tend to be living in the same area, like yeah. the, not the greatest side of town, and um, they were. What's the word for it? Uh, they they accept it. You know, some of the parents are not great people or yeah. were gang related before, and yeah. some are more happy to know like what happened to their sweet sweet child. Sure. Um, and then the ones that most of them I took them. The ones that didn't take them were people who moved or the house is run down now, and they take those back to the there. church. Yeah. Okay. Church accepts it. Cool. You you meet with Towbridge. I really don't want. To Sorry, you meet with a lower level. You no, get. To I the I should talk with Towbridge. You get to the front. Uh, hey, uh, hello there. Hello. How are, you, how are you doing? 
Not great. Let's uh, let's, let's set the scene. Oh, we're doing a scene oh, now. We're setting the scene. scene oh, it's just gonna you. Die. You're at the front here. While you're setting up the scene, doesn't this kind of <clears throat> seem like letters from a murderer to the parents being like, hey, I know here's I the body. I know I have a rope here's man. the body of Signed. your child. What do you think detectives do? <laughs> no, no, but like, wouldn't it? It's just like. Well, if, if it's like a weird true crime case, like I could see somebody being like, "These are all true crime scenes, cases." Yeah, but I would just say like that all trace back. Seventeen to of them just got solved. Yes, by like, one man. By one man. One, one, high, one, one highly unethical, problematic one necromancer. Man. Yes. In one report. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, so yeah, what? Uh, how's it going? What can I do for you? Welcome to the Church of Ill Matter. Thanks. Um. Can you see that these uh, skeletons um, get properly inert for me? He looks down and sees like it shows the bag where you kind of like see the oh ah uh, yeah. They need to be have full reburial rites. Um, they have already been sanctified with diamond dust for uh, forgiveness on my part. I had disturbed them. Okay. And I can't figure out where they're supposed to go. And I don't know what else to do, but I need to leave. And I need someone to take care of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can I can take these bones. <laughs> Thanks, Devin! <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, that hurt. Um, I'm going to keep Jamek and Melon, though. <laughs> because... They've had Those different. bones never belonged to anyone. <laughs> Correct. Um, Correct. But thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, you're you're welcome. He takes the bones. Are you planning on doing anything with those? Uh, give me a second. The music is uncute. Are you planning on doing anything with those bones? This is DMVU. Um, with the, the horse, or are you gonna are you gonna take those? Oh, I'm <laughs> taking the animal skeletons up to the mountains with me. Oh, you're planning on going to the mountains? Yeah. Hmm. For my hermitage and. Hermitage. The question I asked was, are you planning to go to the mountains? And you are going. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. I'm going to do that after today. Say goodbye to the party for a week or two. Sure. And then, uh, um, hopefully be back better. <clears throat> Sounds great. Um, as you exit the scene, as you exit this area, um, the cleric goes inside and he takes the bones with him and you see him prepare them individually. You see him kind of taking good care. Off in the distance, or just in the alleyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, something compels you to kind of look over to your left. Or your right, sorry. Am and I still would you... Uh, no, I, I went on my own on this one. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna do something. If that's okay with you. If that's what you want to do. I, it was ill matter. I needed to go. Yeah. Let's see. And you see a man standing off on the side in this alleyway, and he kind of, like, looks over to you. And something about this compels you to... Something's drawing you in. And you see him sitting there, he has a little bowl in his hand, and he has a nice, like, like an old, worn, gray robes or gray tattered clothing with like a whitish, um, like cloak on, just somewhere later in the town. And he looks over you. Oh boy. Boy, why, why are you so sad? Um. I think I hurt a lot of people and I don't know what to do <laughs> and well that's that's quite an unfortunate sit situation you're in young man uh, how did you get yourself in this kind of mess I I wanted to make sure that I wanted to make sure that no one was going to be hurt and so I wound up breaking a few rules and and no one got hurt but I I didn't even need to do it so now I'm I don't know what to do so you're telling me you broke <laughs> you broke some rules to try, stop people from getting hurt and then you you didn't hurt anybody I did. Who'd you hurt? People I don't know. People who deserve to be 
left, comfortable. He's sitting on the side here, and he kind of like looks over at you, and he's like, "Ah, oh, come here, little one." He gives you a little. He gives a pat next to the the cobblestone where he's sitting, just up against a, a brick wall. Damn! I swear to God, this is ill matter. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, I sit. Come here, bitch. Oh, you! Get over here, bitch. All right, I sit. I sit. Yeah. I'm interested. <clears throat> well, it seems like you've got a little bit of stress on your shoulders. I mean. Well, all you were trying to do was do the right thing, is that right? Were you, tr were you trying to hurt people? No, but I had to do bad things, though. Well, it didn't seem like you did anything bad at all, then, did it? No one got hurt? Israfel took away people's body autonomy. It's super problematic. <laughs> Fine. Continue the, continue the um, conversation. Yeah, um... No. Um... No, I, I did things people didn't want me to do, and... And I'm not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to do that. Hmm. I mean... It's, it's good not to hurt people, that's kind of ideal, but sometimes... Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes you make, have to make choices that, that aren't necessarily good for everybody, but it's good for more people. And some people are going to resent you for that. If you can help a hundred people, and one, but you can't save one, is that the wrong thing? I don't know. Yeah, you seem conflicted. <laughs> he, gives, he gives a little... Uh, he, uh, he gives you a little chuckle and he takes his little bowl, little bowl that he's asking for but donations, there's nothing in it. He kind of like slides it over you. It looks like you could use some help there, buddy. What? Uh, it just seemed seem like you're down, you know, like... I think what you're missing is advice. You seem lost. Yeah. Did you feel like you made the right choice? I don't know. In the moment, when you were doing these things, did you think that you did wrong in the moment? No. I knew what I was doing I had to do. Well, that doesn't seem like you did the wrong thing then. But... I knew I had to be a bad person. Well, what, what makes a bad person? <sighs> Breaking rules. <laughs> hurting people. <laughs> Well, hurting people's definitely not ideal, but breaking rules, <laughs> rules are silly. Everyone's got their rules. I would like a perception check on this man. In that statement. In insight or perception? Um, insight. He's comfortable with breaking rules. It's a three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> he just seems like an old man who, who seem, who just, just doesn't, just seems like he's lived a life. Sure. Where he's broken rules. Ah, oh, he's definitely broken rules. <laughs> You know, we all break rules, you know? Oop, all of a sudden you take your cart through town a little too fast, you're a rule breaker. Does it make you a bad person? It, yes. Really? You could hurt people. I suppose that is true. But if you're trying to save somebody, you got someone in the back of your cart, you gotta get them some medicine, now is it wrong? I don't know. Mm, seems silly, doesn't it? Seems real silly. Well, from this conversation, the only thing that, the only person that really seems hurt is yourself. Because, oh boy, man, you're kicking, you're kicking yourself when you're down. Like, you're down, you're kicking yourself. Smiles at you. It has, like, two teeth in it. But not, not good ones. Like, no, one's over here, real, one's over real here. Mix. So super yeah. effective. Just, yeah, yeah. <sighs> What you gonna do from here then, buddy? You gonna try to make it right with yourself? Or are you gonna just let yourself ponder on it, fester in bitterness, and be sad for the rest of your life? I'll tell you, that's not the way to live. I don't know. Hmm. I want to help. I need to help people. I 
want to help my friends, but I just don't know if I can trust myself to. Because once you cross the line once, you know, cross it again's a lot easier. Who draws these lines? What says these lines are right? Aren't the lines different for everyone? Devin Israfel's not ready for this sort of, this fucking game of philosophy and I'm loving it. <laughs> There's some good laws out there and there are some bad laws out there. Laws don't make people good. Laws aren't what are good. Do you think the law right there, and he, he points over and he sees like, <clears throat> there is a, there is a guard who is, there's someone who's kind of like smoking, just mm -hmm. not mind, mind his own business, nothing crazy, just like tobacco. Mm -hmm. And he sees like, you, you see him, he sells something to someone real quick, like just a tobacco cigarette. Sure. And he's like, and then this guard comes over and he ar arrests him and there's a big scene happening across the street. Yeah. Does that look like a good law to you? Some guy just trying to make a living and you know. Guard, the guard's doing the right thing, isn't he? Arresting this man for breaking the law? No. No? Mm. Seems like that's a silly law then, isn't it? But what if it helps people, though, too? Who's it helping? What if... What if... I don't know. Because mm. to me, what that looks like... That looks like a man trying to make a living for his family and doing it safely. Not stealing from nobody, not hurting nobody, not not causing no problems. Just trying to make ends meet. And Mr. Lawman over there is doing his job. Making the law, following the law, abiding by it. Oh, and look at that man. That man is now going to be arrested, put somewhere, and he ain't going to be able to provide for his family. You know what those fam that family's going to do? They're going to turn to something. They're going to turn to make ends meet. Because that's what people do. They make ends meet. Sometimes it hurts others. Mm -hmm. By doing this, we're making more suffering in this planet. Yes. Is that what you're doing? You're making other people's life worse? No. Fun. I don't want to. Then don't. Okay. Thank you. He kind of, he takes his like walking stick that's kind of next to him. Uh, pulls him up and you hear like three different vertebrae <laughs> crack uh, as he gets up and you, you hear him pause like halfway up <laughs> oh yeah that's the one that's the one all right yeah well he uh what you doing jim just rolling a dice cool i do have a plus seven to religion and fantastic that's pretty nice huh yeah what'd you get 17 great cool great you're looking at this man this man's sitting outside of a church. I wonder if that's, you know... Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Eh, it's just a weird place. Especially because the church takes care of the poor people here. Yeah, he seems taken care of. So, okay. And, uh... He gets up, and he, he even helps you up a little bit. That is nice of him. Yeah, you look like you need some help in life, buddy. <laughs> Go help some other people. And, uh... And you kind of, like, turn off, and he, he, goes, he gestures over to... The, the person, the guy who's been arrested and is now kind of being booked by a second guard, and you're watching this whole thing take take place, uh, and you feel like a hand on your shoulder kind of pat, and he's kind of like, and for all those families that you gave closure to, you didn't, you, you didn't hurt anybody. Besides, bones aren't people. He takes his hand off your shoulder. And you look back and nothing's there. His name tag read Ilian Mater. <laughs> <laughs> who knows who that could have been? He, t he puts his hand on your shoulder here. He points off to the side where there's a guard doing things. And he just, you look over. And as you do, it's like someone's never there. Look for further, just passed out in a bush. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> what the crap? I'm going to cast invisibility on the guy. Okay. You cast invisibility on the guy. On the guy getting arrested. Yep, I figured. And you see him. You see the guards, but hey, wait, did you? I did. Did you? No, no, he didn't point point. Oh, I still guard. did. You're across the side of the street, and he's okay. like, hey, because these guards are not thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see him? Where'd he go? What? 
and they just both peel off in different directions. <laughs> and you can't see what's going on. No. You can't see that guy, but you just kind of look around. Um, roll me a perception check. Sure. I'm going to trip over his own feet and get caught again. Uh, 12. Now you hear the sound of uh, footsteps cool. passing by you. You can't see anything, but you hear feet, footsteps on the, on the cobblestone. Cool. And... That, I think, is what we're going to leave off with tonight. Thank we you, have Devin. two weeks of downtime for everybody. Mm -hmm. So think about what you want to do with those downtime actions. We will cover them and, well, you know what? It's a little bit of time. Does anyone kind of know what they want to do in their two weeks of downtime? Um, can I have an evening meeting out with my friends? During these two weeks, I take particular care of the harpy egg I've been carrying. Okay. Trying to keep it warm to hatch. Forgot we had the RPA. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've had that for a while. Yeah. Uh, it's been it's been a decent time, yeah. Bot, you feel a little wobble wobble inside. A little wobble wobble. Um, like let's see. You want I'd like an evening out with my friends. Okay. To the mountains. Oh, we're all going to the mountains. We're all going now. <clears throat> um, there are there are mountains kind of nearby, so you're able to do that. Um, you take an evening out with your friends, you toe digs like, all right, well, I'll just take the soup kitchen. So you guys, he takes the soup kitchen, you guys head towards the mountains. You guys get to the kind of the, what's the, not the summit, the summit of a mountain. A plateau. Yeah, a nice little spot. You kind of go for a little hike, toe digs, sweating, and you hear aches and moans coming from him that are just ungodly. And you get to the first plateau of the mountain, and, uh... Oh, well, I can do a scene change for this. Give me a Ooh. second. Um, Ooh. You, can, you can cut the this camera for a second. I will get a little small scene for the mountains. Okay. Um, um, start talking. What do yeah. you want to do? Um, thank you all so much for coming up here with me. I was going to do this on my own, but I wanted you all with me. Um, I don't know. I think, I think I'm okay. As long as we help people, I think I'm okay. Um, and I just thought this would be nice for the, for these animals. Just give them one more day. You know, at least let the bones pretend. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to cast, um, I'm going to use my command on the animals I've been casting out to make dead on, the bones. And, um, the command is the animals. Um, and they're just going to be animals. Like, do the bones, like, cut? Do animal things or no? Yeah, they're just gonna do animal things. Okay, cool. She won grass, hide. Okay, Blue is like really freaked out, but she was like trying really hard to be I, there for you. She's like, I, I just gotta be like, I was like, this. I want this to play fetch with some of them. Um, I dead mean, dogs. did we have a did we get a dog? Did we get a dead dog? Uh, there's a yes, there is. Is there a dead dog on top of the dead dog? It's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's a dead it's a dead wolf, but oh, it's dog yeah. enough. Oh, that feels weird for me. <laughs> Billy. Um. Uh, the horse probably seems a little affectionate because it's a domesticated horse. Um. Hey. Um. Do you want to ride this horse? Sure, I'll ride the horse. I'll gallop. I'll take a little lap. Okay. I'll take a little lap. Go for it. I climb on top of the horse. The skeleton it's horse. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. Unfortunately, there's no magnet on the bottom of Blackston, so he's not riding that horse oh. in the scene. I'm so uh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna ride the horse then. Okay. Get me, guy! Go for it. And there's Jenna too. She's even enjoying the weird skeleton animals. Um, thank you all so much. Um, <laughs> should be good on the horse. Boys. You know, this was important for me. And if I ever cross the line, I trust you guys will stop me. Um, but we have to do things right, okay? Yeah, we're always gonna do it. That's what we're always gonna do. Okay. Um, and then after six hours, I'm gonna bring them all around. Um, can you all help me dig a few holes? Yeah. I love digging gotcha. holes. Start digging. Thank you. Jed chimes in. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Let's do it in there! All right. Um, and that seems like a fine place to end tonight's episode. All right. You guys have dug some holes for some Thank bodies. You. you, Mr. Fell, you're going to take some time in this. Um, everyone... Um, everyone digs the holes for the bodies. You go through the burial rites for these animals. They to, don't need them. Whatever rights you would give them, essentially. Whatever, what is it? What would you give an animal? None. 
you bury the animal and... Blue names every single one for you. You really should not have done this for oh, me. Oh, no. <laughs> Blue, Blue named it to themselves. Okay, thank you. And thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Blue just starts going, this one's Leopold, this one's Hodrick, <laughs> this one's Jamie. Okay, uh, you're, they're all going to be buried for perfect. this night. The sun goes down and nice. uh, you're able to kind of relax for a little bit. Um, Todig says, well, I'm going to get this back, the soup kitchen back into town. Uh, are you coming with this, Rafael? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, uh, does someone else want to pull this? My back is I got it, I got it. I'll take it this one. <laughs> and then I'm like, Woo! All right, here we go. And the werewolf is going to be we're pulling the back soup back. kitchen. <laughs> um, while we're here, I did want to say thank you, Devin, for giving that closure to Israfel. I felt really tough, and Devin and I have talked a lot about that character growth, and that was important for me, so thank you for factoring that in, Devin. That was beautiful. Welcome to to Total Utilitarianism. That's, the one. That's what he was always modeled after, but it got right. real for him. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us in tonight's episode. Tonight's special, though, so go on to the Discord. We are going to be doing some votes for bot, finding downtime actions, maybe naming this harpy egg that might hatch in the next two weeks. Multi-class again. Do not multi-class! <laughs> Another one! Multi-class Multi again! And, Do it! And that's, <laughs> that's it for tonight. Have all the utilities! <laughs> Who's the guy with the Mediterranean feet? Stay tuned. <laughs> also, thank you, Chrisio, for rating us, as well as, what was the other one? I don't know. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix something. Phoenix something. We love you, Phoenix. Thank you. Again. Watson. Phoenix Watson. Phoenix Watson. Phoenix Watson. Phoenix Watson. Wa you know, another, another yeah. walk-in of mine. Another walk-in. Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to be it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs> Cannot wait. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night.